Need to hit the road if we're gonna beat the traffic. All right. All right. What? What? Uh-uh. Maybe we'll just beat the traffic tomorrow? Cash back is good, but double cash back is even better. Discover matches all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year, which is cash back at its best. Fox College Football is sponsored by Wendy's. Kick it with Fox Big Noon. Welcome to the bank here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we've got a good one for you as Nebraska comes into town to take on the Golden Gophers as both teams open up Big Ten Conference play. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson along with my partner, Joel Klatt. And welcome to the Twin Cities, where for Nebraska, they're starting a new era of Huskers football. Matt Rule comes in as their new head coach after serving two years with the Carolina Panthers. He's been a rebuilder yep. of college programs, and everybody in Lincoln is excited to see him. I mean, they're excited because they've been trying to rebuild for two decades, right, and, and return Nebraska to its rightful spot, and Matt Rule is here to do that. They've gone with a guy that is a proven builder, Gus. He did it at Temple. He did it at Baylor, and now they're hoping he can do it here at Nebraska. And how is he starting this rebuild? He's starting with experience at the quarterback position. Jeff Sims comes in as a transfer from Georgia Tech. And this is a guy that's played a lot of football. He's very athletic, a very smart player. And Matt Rule feels like as they move towards a physical pro-style offense, that Jeff Sims is perfect for them to start this rebuild here in Lincoln. As for the Golden Gophers, P.J. Fleck, their head coach, this is his seventh season. He's done a wonderful job with this program. But he lost his quarterback, yep. Tanner Morgan. He'd been there forever. And he lost his major running back, Mo Ibrahim. Yeah. So now we're going to see who the new quarterback is, and we're going to see who the new running back is. I feel like Tanner Morgan was like a 10-year vet, right? So it's like, who in the world is going to play quarterback at Minnesota? Well, it's Ethan Kaliak Manis. And this is a guy that does have a little experience. He had to spell Tanner Morgan late last year when Morgan was down with some injuries. He had to come in actually against this very Nebraska team and lead them back in a win on the road. He's a guy that's got a big arm. They feel like they've got some talent on the outside. Might not just be that run-oriented offense that we've seen the last couple of years. They could spread it out a little bit. In a series that dates back to a 1900 meeting in Lincoln, the Gophers lead it 36 to 25 with two ties. They've won four straight, the last three by seven points each. It was me the whole time! <laughs> well done, ma'am. What did I do exactly? With Snapchat from Progressive, you get a personalized discount for doing exactly what you're already doing, being a safe driver. Congratulations. This is a bowling trophy. Yeah, it's the biggest one they had. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're getting it. We're reinventing our network with smarter, more efficient routes. So you can deliver more value to your customers. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. Old Trapper Beefs. Camping catastrophes. So the kids want to go camping again. Well? Yeah, let's go camping. Yay! Old Trapper, what's your beef? These used cars look the same. But how can you tell which one's the better deal? Bring in Dad from Sarasota? Hey, Dad. This one's broken. Dads are great, but let's say, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. 
Look for me and stop overpaying. Shop at the all new Carfax.com. The following is a presentation of the Big Ten Conference. Now it's time for today's game countdown, sponsored by Progressive. Over 50,000 strong, ready to watch this game here in Minneapolis. And time now to join the third member of our team who's from the Twin Cities, the All-American girl, Jenny Tack. All right, guys, thank you so much. Coach, since you became the new head coach at Nebraska nine months ago, you've been building for this moment, the season opener. What can we expect from the new era of Nebraska football? Well, this is about, all about these players. Um, this, tonight's not going to be about plays. It's going to be about players. I love these guys, man. They are they're a great group. I'm proud of them, and I hope everyone's proud of them, too. You say it's about the process. What was the last message to them right now? That it's about them. Step over the line, man. You know, like, what an unbelievable environment. And so this is Big Ten football. So let's go play and have some fun, see what happens. Enjoy it. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Nebraska won the toss. They deferred, so Minnesota will receive the football. Over 50,000-plus in attendance in a perfect evening for football, 78 degrees at kickoff time. Quentin Redding ready to return it for the Gophers. Tristan Alfano will send it away as you take a look at the series history, 64th meeting. Last three meetings decided by seven points. Gophers have won five of the last six. So here we go, Nebraska, Minnesota, Big Ten opener. Here are the Twin Cities. And we're underway. Redding from the four yard line. And he'll get close to the 20 before being ridden down Tackled by Javen Wright on special teams. And that brings in the Greek star for this Gopher squad. <laughs> you, you were going where I thought you were going there. Hey, Ethan Galliak Manis does have a little experience. Got those clutch moments, including a win over Wisconsin late last year. A comeback win over these Nebraska Cornhuskers. He's got some talent. Good frame, 6'4". He's strong. He throws the ball really well. And Gus, they feel like they've got some playmakers on the outside. Now, don't get me wrong. They're going to run the ball. That's what Minnesota does. But I wouldn't be surprised if they started to put it up, especially early, and tried to throw it in order to run it later in the game. First down and 10 of the 19-yard line. Kaliak Manis will let it fly on first down, and it's caught. Spanford with the reception is tight end and he'll gain seven yards on the play. Let's take a look at this Minnesota offense. Well, offensively up front, they're replacing three really good players, including All-American John Michael Schmitz as center. They've also got to replace their all-time winningest quarterback, all-time uh, yardage rushing leader in the backfield. They're going to do that with what I would call balanced production. It started with Brevin Span Ford, who just got that first completion, and their back, Sean Tyler, he's going to be the one that tries to be the bell cow in the backfield. Second down and three, and they run it straight ahead over the left side. Little bit of running room, about a one-yard gain for Sean Tyler defensively for Nebraska. Well, this is a bit of a, an unknown. They're going to go with a new style of defense, a 3-3-5 under coordinator Tony White. They're, they're young and inexperienced up front. I will say, though, this linebacker core, they got hurt by a guy that's not there. Nick Henrich is not playing in this game. Luke Reimer will be there. Henrich tore his ACL last year. Just an ankle injury this year. He will be back hopefully shortly, but not in the game today. So that brings up third down and two at the 27. Bryce Williams in the backfield for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis out of the shotgun. He'll throw it underneath, and it's caught. Corey Crooms, a Western Michigan transfer, with a nine-yard gain and a first down for the Gophers. Gus, this is some of that, what I call production balance that they talked about to us yesterday. Crooms comes in from Western Michigan, and he was a Blitnikoff watch list guy. 
he had 115 catches in his career at Western Michigan. Like, this guy can get it done, and in the slot, he's a nice weapon, in particular for a quarterback who's coming in as the first year as the true starter. First down and 10 at the 36. And they'll give it Tyler, looking for some space, and he crashes forward, picks up two yards on the play. Sean Tyler, another Western Michigan transfer, and at Western Michigan, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons. Well, this is a guy that they really believe can be a featured back. Now, it's hard to say that he can replace Mo Ibrahim, and I don't think he will have to, in particular with the talent that they have at the wide receiver position and tight end. But he certainly is a guy that can go out there and get you 1,000 yards, and if he stays healthy, he should have a big year. Second down and eight at the 38-yard line. Opening drive for this Minnesota team. Kaliak Manis off his back foot to the sideline, bobbled and juggled and dropped. Daniel Jackson had two hands on the football, just couldn't bring it in. Yeah, just a little bit behind him there. They go with that little play fake in the backfield, and you can see the ball is way behind him. So Daniel Jackson, who they're very high on, they feel like he can have a big year, tries to go back and get that. It's dropped, and that brings up the first third and long. We'll see if Nebraska tries to get creative here and try to send some pressure at the young quarterback. Third down and eight at the 38-yard line. Bryce Williams checks in at running back for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis with time, steps up in the pocket, wants to run, and he gets a first down, slides down close to midfield, but he keeps the chains moving, and this kid, they feel, has the potential to be very, very good here at Minnesota. Well, you see the linebackers, they started to stunt over to that opposite side, and so Kaliak Manis, he just sees that little opening right in front of him in the middle, and he pulls that ball down to run. Probably a little bit more fleet of foot, Gus, than Tanner Morgan was, more willing to pick up some yardage with his feet, and he gets a big first down there. Gain of nine when he needed eight. First down for Minnesota. Williams still in the backfield. Kaliak Manis hands it off straight ahead. Not a lot of room. Hutchmaker in the middle with the tackle after a two-yard game. Let's take a look at how these two teams can stay in the game. Sponsored by Hampton by Hilton for the stay. Nebraska, it's about returning to Husker power. That's why Matt Rule is there. They want to be physical on offense, and certainly they want to do the same on defense. And Minnesota, it's that balanced production offensively. You can't replace Tanner Morgan and Mo Ibrahim with one guy. You've got to spread the ball around. You can see them already trying to do that here on this opening series. And they'll throw it out wide. Caught, but Nebraska right there. Terrific defense. Crooms makes the grab. However, Malcolm Hartzog is there for the open field tackle. Uh, how quickly was he up to make that tackle? Beautiful play by Malcolm Hartzog on the outside. Listed at 5'9". I'm down there before the game. I don't know if he's 5'9", but I tell you what, they say he plays scrappy, and he showed it there on second down. Third down and 10 at the 47. This drive started at the Minnesota 19-yard line. Kelly McManus out of the gun. Bryce Williams next to him. Kelly Ekmanis with time underneath and incomplete. So Minnesota able to move the ball, but they'll come up empty as the punt team comes on the field. Well, you look at what he's looking at, and Kelly Ekmanis just wanted to throw it to his tight end. That's the best player probably, right? Brevin Span Ford. Look at that. There are four white jerseys over there dropping perfectly under that single receiver. The tight end was split out to the single side. Kelly Ekmanis had made his mind up. He wanted to throw it over there. And he couldn't get it done in the face of four Cornhuskers. Billy Kemp back deep as Crawford sends it away. This ball takes a Minnesota ball to dies at the one-yard line. Terrific job by Mark Crawford, the senior punter. A 52-yard punt. Nebraska will start in their own end zone. And here comes the Georgia Tech transfer, Jeff Sims. This is gonna taste all right.
Welcome everybody to the wild, wild west A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness Say what you say, but give me that bomb beat from Dre Let me serenade the streets of LA From Oakland to Sacktown The Bay Area and back down Cali is where they put they Mac down Give me your heart We love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. I think we got in the house. I think you're right. Stay away from my family! Why are you so strong? At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. You want me to get the spray stuff? Get the spray stuff. Where is it? He's up here! For bundling made easy, go to Geico.com. Officially, it's a fridge full of beer. Unofficially, it's free AC. Coors Light, the official beer of everything unofficial. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the Subway series menu. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. This place is a death trap. Shut it down! I came here to help you, but now we're starting to lose control. What is that? Are you willing to change? Kitchen Nightmares returns Monday, September 25th on Fox. Georgia Tech transfer Jeff Sims steps on the field for the first time as a corn husker. He originally committed to Florida State, but when Willie Taggart left, he rescinded that commitment and signed with Georgia Tech. He feels that Nebraska is the place for him. They want him to improve his completion percentage and his ball security. I'm sure when he made that decision and all summer was working in Lincoln to try to get himself going in this offense, he didn't think that his first snap was going to be inside the one-yard line. First down and 10. Inside the one, and he'll try to create a little space. Nebraska... Let's take a look at the offense for the Cornhuskers. Well, up front, they're experienced, but I'll be honest, largely ineffective experience up front. They have got to reach their potential up front with some of these guys that were highly recruited. Now, in the backfield, Gabe Irvin is back and he's healthy. And Gus, he's a guy we saw a couple of years ago. I really like him. They feel like they're going to be able to run the ball well, in particular with Jeff Sims. It's a bit of an unknown as far as wide receiver, but they do like their tight end room. They're probably going to be at least two, three tight ends in the game most of the night. Second down and six at the five-yard line. Here's Sims throwing out of his own end zone. He's a runner. Hits the edge. Looking for the first down and has it. Stopped on the play by Wally. But Jeff Sims using his legs and picks up six. Beautiful job by Jeff Sims. This is not easy, folks, okay? First game, first series, and all of a sudden he's got to set up a big deep play action pass against this defense, which is a very good defense, by the way. Now, they are going to be without what I feel like is one of their best players, Cody Lindenberg. He was a late scratch at linebacker. Their best player, however, in the back end is probably Tyler Newbin. I think he's going to be a first-round draft pick next spring in the NFL. Number 27 is as good as they come. First down at the 11-yard line and a flag. Full start. Offense number 24. Five-yard penalty. First down. Well, you know, for Nebraska, tumultuous season one year ago for the Huskers. They started one and two, fired Scott Frost, and then went three and six under interim coach Mickey Joseph, losing five in a row from mid-October to mid-November. You know, Gus, I, I would say it's larger than that. Yes, they had a rough season last year. We, we all know that. But, you know, they've lost 25 one-score games dating back to 2018. There's a reason Matt Rule is here. He's here for details. He's here for executions. He's here to get them back to where they feel like they belong. First down at 15, and this is Sims trying to get downhill. He does, and Sims out of bounds at the 30-yard line, tracked down by Tyler Newbin after a gain of 26, and this is what he's known for. Well, he's such an athletic player. He's 6'4", almost 220 pounds. He's a guy you want first off the bus. Straight zone read, and they did a great job up front, sealing that edge, and then right there, stepping out of a tackle, 
and finding his way over to the sideline. Beautiful run. And now we've seen it now three times, Gus. Little quarterback sneak. Then he had to scramble for a first down. And then there, a beautiful run over the right side. And here they are outside of their own 30. He rushed for 128 yards and three scores against North Carolina in 2021. And this is... Johnson trying to find some space, not a lot there as Logan Redding calls him down. That's a loss of one. Well, this this Minnesota team, without one of their true leaders in Cody Lindenbaum, uh, Berg, excuse me, I, I'm very interested to see how they play tonight. This is a defense that's very proud. Over the last couple of years, you wouldn't think it. They've actually been the second best scoring defense in college football over the last two years. There's Lindenberg on the sideline. We'll see if he can hopefully get him back in the lineup soon, but it's certainly not going to be tonight. Second down and 11, and it's Grant. A lot of crashing going on. No gain on the play. This going to go to Minnesota defense. Looks serious as Devin Williams comes up with the stop. Oh, this is when Sims has hurt them with his feet. Scramble for that first down. The shadow of his own goal line here, a long third down scenario. Let's see if Minnesota spies, and there is going to be a flag here down late. I think there were too many guys in the huddle. Illegal substitution, 12 in the huddle offense, five-yard penalty, third down. Gus, I will say this, Matt Rule, look, at he's, he's trying to calm everybody down because this it has to be expected. You don't have preseason games. It's a brand new coaching staff. It's a brand new quarterback. You're on the road in a league environment like this. It's loud here right now. You're going to have some growing pains, and there's that first pain right there. So instead of third and 11, it's third and 16. At the 26, Nebraska. They sent three receivers to the bottom of your screen, two to the top. Sims steps up underneath and it's caught Bullock and he's taken down at the 32 yard line nicely done by Justin Wally a seven yard gain not enough for first down love what the defensive coordinator Joe Rossi did right there look at all those gophers back deep I mean they're just like all right go ahead complete a short pass and we got eight guys ready to rally up and make the tackle and look at all these maroon jerseys just rallying up and Nebraska's got nowhere to go and they'll have to punt it away back deep is ready he backpedals fields it inside the 10 and crosses the 15 up to the 17 yard line before being taken down a 59 yard punt a 9 yard return Luke Reimer with the tackle on special teams. Kaliak McManus ready to come back on the field after this. I'm a bear. I'm coming out of hibernation after the best nap of my life. And Papa is hungry. <laughs> and while you're hitting the trail, I'm hitting your cooler. Oh, cheddar. I've got a hot dog bun. And your cut rate car insurance might not pay for all of this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. Roar. Ashley's Labor Day sale is your last chance to save big on summer's top styles. With 0% interest for 60 months, shop Labor Day Hot Buys all just $5.98 each. And featured finds starting at only $17 per month or $9.99.99. Only at Ashley. You like that bone? I got a great price on it. Did you see my tail when that Chewy box showed up? Oh, I saw it. My tail goes bonkers for treats at great prices. Sorry about the vase. Shop and get a $30 e-gift card through August 31st at Chewy. 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. There's DNA. Then there's heavy duty DNA. H DNA. It's what every GMC Sierra HD driver is born with. 
and it's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. The new 2024 GMC Sierra HD. Tow hitches of the world, prepare for glory. Baby, it's over. I mean, we both saw this coming. Fox College Football is sponsored by Allstate. You're in good hands. And by Dos Equis. Get a dose. Enjoy responsibly. 5-12 to play here in the first quarter. No score from the Twin Cities. First down and 10 at the 17 as Minnesota takes over for the second time here in this first quarter. They were able to move the football on their first series got close to midfield, but things stalled courtesy of a tough Nebraska defense. Kelly McManus with the handoff straight ahead. Not a lot. Now this Minnesota team got to give P.J. Fleck a lot of credit. His team finished 9-4 and four last year, 5-4 and four in the Big Ten. Gophers were streaky. They won four in a row to start the season, ended up ranked 21st in the Associated Press. Then they lost three straight and finish winning five of their last six, including a pinstripe ball victory over Syracuse. Well, and they've just been so consistent over the last few years, and P.J. Fleck has built something really special here at Minnesota, and when you're looking at their history, they are right now, they're as successful as they've ever been in the modern history of college football in the last three years on P.J. Fleck. Second down at eight, play fake. Callie McManus steps to do his throw underneath, and it's caught around the 40-yard line. Great throw, great catch. Corey Crooms found a soft spot, a gain of 20. It was a beautiful route by Crooms. Watch this. Good protection up front. Callie McManus comes up and just finds that soft spot over the middle as the safeties are getting deep, and he just leads Crooms right across, and now already that's three catches for the transfer from Western Michigan. Again, highly productive at Western Michigan. They they thought highly of him during camp, and here he is producing in the first quarter. The man next to Kelly McManus, Tyler, also a Western Michigan transfer. First and 10 at the 39. And they'll give it to Tyler, looking for a hole. Runs over one man. And he'll get up to the 45, maybe even the 46-yard line. And that's a gain of seven on the play. Linhart with the tackle. And this is what you have to deal with when you're facing Minnesota. You get a guard pulling, you get a tight end, and the wide receiver in to dig out that safety. Look at all those maroon jerseys. This is a physical-oriented running attack. They believe in it deep down in their bones that they're going to win because they're tougher and they're going to run the ball. They're going to run it over 50% of the time, and that's not going to change. Second down at three at the 46. Here's Kelly McManus rolling out of the pocket. Quick delivery. Caught. Not enough for first down. Crooms again. As a matter of fact, he'll lose yardage on the play as Deshaun Singleton and John Bullock converge on the tackle. Well, it's going to bring up a critical third down here and Crooms could have just fallen forward and moved the stick so a mistake there a mental error by Crooms and that's going to force his team into a third down they're already two of three for P.J. Flex so far tonight third down and short they need three yards at the 46 Kelly McManus under pressure, fires, first down. That ball thrown in a shoebox, great throw. Sensational catch, a gain of six yards on the play. Well, what and I, that one caught by Daniel Jackson. What I love about it, Gus, and you called it exactly right, in a shoebox, if you're going to throw a short yardage slant, that better be on the frame. And look at that, it just hits him right in the back shoulder, bam. Jackson has no other option but to catch that ball. Beautiful throw, nice little route from Jackson to get the space, and they move the chains. Jackson, senior from Kansas City. 
First and ten at the 48. And they'll hand it off straight ahead. And it's Williams. He sidestepped the first defender and picks up four yards. Omar Brown there to bring him down. Nice little cut there in the backfield and stepped away from a Nebraska defender. And this is a defense. I'm very interested to see how this defense materializes this year. Like I said, a bit of a change in philosophy for Nebraska going to a 3-3-5. I like that schematic change because it allows them to fit their scheme to whatever they feel like they have from a personnel standpoint. And it's going to probably be a couple of weeks in the process. Second down at six at the 44. Kelly McManus looking for his tight end. That's incomplete. Revit Spanford. I don't think he was ready for that football. But they were really high on this tight end. They sure are. And they should be. Here's the action in the backfield. And it was just kind of never really materialized, did it? That's Javen Wright, number 33. He kind of blew it up. And that ball was probably should have been almost flipped underhand, like Mahomes-esque or something, rather than thrown over the top. Brings up third down. We'll see if they can protect their young quarterback. Eighth play of the drive, third and six. At the Nebraska 44. Second series of the day for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis looking and caught. Crooms again out of bounds. First down as he gets inside the Nebraska 35 yard line. Omar Brown pushes him out of play after a gain of 10. A couple of things here, Gus. One is great protection by this offensive line. And again, they're having to replace three starters from a year ago. Nice job up front. There is nobody in the face of their gun quarterback, and it allows him to get to that third man in the progression. Do you see his eyes work? One, two, and then three. He finds Crooms, and they are able to get a first down. This has been a very good series. Talk about early in the year, you're looking for some of that rhythm. You're looking for execution and attention to detail. Well, Minnesota has given you that attention to detail here on this series. And that may take us to the end of the quarter. No score. However, Minnesota moving the football. P.J. Fleck has to be pleased with his young men. No score, but Minnesota threatening. Back to the Twin Cities after this. Your poached egg on avocado toast. Oh. Ew. Ew. Your flash fried pork air over chips. Ew. Your fresh main lobster with micro greens. When the only thing your eight-year-old will eat is waffles. She's fine. She's fine. Your waffles, my lady. It matters where you stay. Yum. Enjoy. Thank you. Hampton by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. Sunday. Kind of Let's just be perfect. Yeah. I might. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. <laughs> I got the sausage. Shot. Oh my god. Mm, perfect. Holy, what's the pitch? There you go. There we go. There we go. I can't sleep either. It only gets tougher with age. Well, maybe you'll sleep better knowing that Progressive protects your home, auto, and business. Wait, is this all a dream? Seems real to me. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Denzel Washington does it again. You're warning me? I'm preparing you. Equalizer 3 is the best action movie of the summer. I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> the Equalizer 3 now playing in theaters. It are. Can one man change everything? I'm gonna give you that. Build something out of nothing. Reinvent an entire team. Say that again. Turn a forgotten program into the talk of college football. Give old fans new hope. Can a one-win team upset a Big 12 powerhouse? We bring in the heat. Give Gus and Joel something to yell about. Wow! Can one man change everything? Baby, you best believe. We're about to find out. Give me my darn theme music. Big noon is prime time.
talking about? Crap. 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 Everyone's talking about Crapopolis, the new comedy from Dan Harmon, co-creator of Rick and Morty. You still can't die, right, Mom? Of course I can't die. I'm a goddess. What kind of idiot are you? Witness the start of civilization. I swear it's not as bad as the name sounds. All that look. Crapopolis, special premiere September 24th after football. Crap chain. Part of animation domination on Fox. A new primetime lineup on Fox News Channel. The right voices at the right time. Weeknights on Fox News. America is watching. Let's play snake oil. Yeah. Crazy products. The casket that you can build yourself. Can you figure out which are real and which are fake? It is a suitcase with a head on it. <laughs> at all. David Spade hosts. Are they real or snake oil? Snake oil. Series premiere Wednesday, September 27th on Fox. Fox College football is sponsored by Wendy's. Kick it with Fox Big Noon. And don't forget, folks, head to your nearest Wendy's for a custom Kick It With Fox Big Noon drink cup. Scan and enter to win CFB prizes each week. I like that. Kick it, Fox. Big dude. Come kick it with us. Let's do it. Man, this is going to be a great year. I just love that college football is back. We're here. Gus, I missed you. Oh, man, I missed you, too. Yes. They run the football. And close to a first down. That's Sean Tyler. As he churns his way up the field for a gain of 10. Boy, that, that offensive line is finding a bit of a rhythm here, and they'll go a little up-tempo. Play fake. Kaliak Manis drops it off underneath, out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Crooms is just having a wonderful first half. Five catches tonight. Nine straight games of three or more going back to 2022 in Western Michigan. That's already his sixth. That five in the first quarter. Now his sixth. He's on pace for just under 200 catches this year. Good luck. Ha <laughs> ha. That will be a spectacular year. But Minnesota knocking on the door. Second down and three yards to go. Sean Tyler, single setback. And they run a reverse. Jackson. And he's upended. And he'll lose yardage on this play. Terrific job by Isaac Gifford. That's a loss of five. Yeah, that's a great job by Gifford. And really, that Nebraska defense was not faked at all. They tried to get that run action to Sean Tyler after the quality run there. And Matt Rule's defense showing some great discipline and forcing Minnesota back behind the chains here on second down. Now third down. Third down and nine at the 33. Make that the 23. Kaliak Manis. Fires underneath. Not enough for first, but a completion. They're about a yard and a half short. Daniel Jackson with the grab. Boy, this is a tough decision for P.J. Fleck. I think he wants to reward his offense by letting them stay on the field, but part of rewarding that offense is taking the points that they've earned after a quality drive, and so they will send the field goal unit out there. I think it's the right decision from P.J. Fleck here. So, Dragan Kesic, first year as the number one place kicker for Minnesota. In to attempt a 34-yarder. Normally a kickoff specialist. Gets it up in the air. And good. So the Gophers strike first blood. Kessage with a 34-yarder. Minnesota up 3-0. Never have let AI out of the box. The Creator, rated PG-13, only in theater September 29th. Okay, again, this is a status bar, this is a search bar. Let's know the difference, okay? Social okay. media. 
it can be overwhelming for a young homeowner turning into their parents. Now, what does it mean to slide into someone's DMs? Mm. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, we're not ready for that. As a team, we'll get there. It might be a fruit emoji, but that doesn't mean they're talking about fruit. Oh. Progressive can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can save you money when you bundle home an auto with us. Okay, do you really think we need 47 photos of fun dinner at Pam's? Yes. No. Turn right on to Western Avenue. You have reached your destination. One more. One more time. Turn right on to Western Avenue. ID Light in the all electric ID4. It's the little things, it's a VW. Hi, we're Visible. We're the wireless company with nothing to hide. Seriously. Hidden fees? We don't have them. Annual contracts? Not our thing. Great wireless on just one line? Now that's more like it. Get unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon for $25 a month. Taxes and fees included. That's right. $25 a month means $25 a month every month. Sorry, hidden fees. We're just not that into you. Sometimes the choice is just Visible. Switch today at Visible.com. Can one man change everything? Turn a forgotten program into the talk of college football. Can a one-win team upset a Big 12 powerhouse? We bringing the heat. We're about to find out. Give me my dirt theme music. Big noon is prime time. Pacific Life game summary sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Minnesota on top of Nebraska, 3-0 here in the second quarter. Jeff Sims, nice little start to his career as the quarterback for the Cornhuskers. Got a few first downs there before they had to punt it away. But really, it's been about the production of the Minnesota offense, and in particular, wide receiver. I tell you what, they've got some guys on the outside that can go get it. Crooms, he certainly has been good. Corey Crooms transfers in from Western Michigan, already six catches. And Nathan Callie McMahon. McManus, he's the one distributing the ball, and he's done a nice job getting it to his tight end, to his wide receiver. They've been able to run it a little bit. It's really been a game that offensively for Minnesota has started quite well for them. Ethan Kelly McManus leading this Minnesota team on a 13th play drive, covering 67 yards, eating up 7 minutes and 41 seconds. Well done as Kessich hits the 34-yard field goal. Kelly McManus coming from an athletic family. His father was a wrestler, 190 pounds at Seton Hall. Gus, I was down on the field earlier. It looks really nice and calm. It's like a swirling wind. You know, even Matt Rule was touching on it. That's why they're gonna have to bring a holder over. Kick this away as the ball just keeps getting blown off the tee. Take a look at the flags at the top of the stadium. See that wind affecting this game so far. Emmett Johnson is the deep man. As Kessich sends it away, Johnson will start from the four-yard line. And he's hit as he crosses the 15. He will get to the 17-yard line, and that's where Nebraska will start. Dubin with the tackle on special teams. More shopping? You should watch your spending, honey. I'm saving with Liberty Mutual, Mom. They customize your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Check it out. You could save $700 just by switching. Ooh. I'll look into that. Let me put a reminder on my phone. Save $700. Pick up dad from airport. Oh, only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Jersey Mike slices your sub right in front of you, see? The slicer, the meat and cheese, it has a rhythm. This is the rhythm of the slice. for Danny <laughs> sliced right in front of you the Jersey Mike's thing a sub above 
We're seeing EVs more every day. Good to know there's one that can still make people say, you don't see that every day. Because it's the only EV that's an F-150. The all-electric F-150 Lightning. Available now. See your local Ford dealer. Gotta try this new X. Fine, fragrance, let's go. Chip too hot, don't stand too cold. You go around and drown. Off this way, doing all these shows. The new X Fine Fragrance Collection. Smell finer than the finest fragrances with the GOAT. Critics agree, the Equalizer 3 is the best of the franchise. Denzel Washington is the baddest man on the planet. It's the jaw-dropping, pulse-pounding, best action movie of the summer. You're welcome. The Equalizer 3, now playing in theaters. Rated R. Fox College Football is sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. And by Jersey Mike Subs, be a sub above. Welcome back to the Twin Cities. Minnesota with a 3 0 lead over Nebraska. Gus Johnson, Joel Klatt, Jenny Taft with you. Big Ten Conference opener, first game of the year for both these teams, Joel. That must be tough. I think it is, in particular with no preseason, right? And you've seen some of that, right? You, you already saw a, a penalty for too many men in the huddle for Nebraska. It's tough, and I think it's much tougher, obviously, for Matt Rule and his staff being the first game that they've coached at Nebraska. On first down, here's Sims with running room, and he'll pick up the first. Jeff Sims using those quick feet. Aronowski with the tackle after a gain of 12. I just I just love the, the action here by the quarterbacks. You're going to get a fake on the inside, and as that end squeezes down, they get a little block on the outside, and you see the speed from Sims and the physicality that he has. Again, he's 6'4", 220 pounds, and in order to enact this new physical style of mantra that they want under Matt Rule, he's going to be part of the run game, and he's going to have to be part of the run game. And Obviously, early here tonight, he's doing a nice job. Four carries for 48 yards. And they'll run it again. This time, Sims picks up another nice gain. Saturday, Joel, Jenny, and I are in Fort Worth to see Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, for the most anticipated and biggest season opener college football has seen in years. This is Colorado Buffaloes face 17th ranked TCU. Big news Saturday on Fox starts this week. Wow. Your Colorado Buffaloes, how they looking, Joel? I'll tell you what, they're they're talented. As they take on a team that played at the national championship last year. That's right. And TCU, on the road. TCU is is reloading and they feel real good about what they have down there in Fort Worth. On second down and three, Johnson will not pick up the first down. Great tackle made by Jack Henderson. So a loss of one. So impressed with how this defense flies around. And now a chance to get off the field right here. This is, again, one of the best scoring defenses in all of college football over the last couple of years. And they do that out of a simple structure. They keep their eyes in the backfield, and they fly around. Well, they got another opportunity right here on a third and short to try to get themselves off the field. Got to give John Rossi a lot of credit with this Minnesota defense. Joe Rossi. Terrific coach, third down and four at the 37. Sims drops it off in the flats. And out of bounds, looks like a first down for this Nebraska team. Yeah, this is one of their backup quarterbacks. Harburg comes across the formation. Look at him just pick that out of the air. Sims does a nice job just dumping it off to him, and then he's racing to the edge, and he gets it past Justin Wally. 
And they're able to move the chains. Nice call for Nebraska. A lot of that is set up, Gus, by being in a third and manageable right there and not in third and long where they feel like they've got to drop back and pass. So Matt Rule dipping into that playbook a little bit, getting creative with a little misdirection. And a timeout call by the Cornhuskers. Under 10 minutes to play in the second quarter, 3 to nothing, Minnesota. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Panera's You Pick 2 means when part of you wants crispy, crunchy, fresh, and part of you wants melty, smoky, peppery. Both use win big. You pick two and get more. Only at Panera. $1 delivery fee on our app. Wow. You get to watch all your favorite stuff. It's to die for, and it's all right here. Streaming was never this easy, you know. This is the way. Really went all out, didn't you? Um, it's called commitment. <laughs> can you turn on the volume? Here, you can try. Get way more into what you're into when you stream on the Xfinity 10G network. A car like this shouldn't exist. Something this big, this luxurious, shouldn't move like a Mazda. And yet, it does. Oh my god, it sounds epic as well! This car is an SUV with bragging rights. The all-new three-row Mazda CX-90. This is AG1, foundational nutrition to support whole body, brain, and gut health. Vitamins, minerals, pre- and probiotics, adaptogens, functional mushrooms, all that and this. Start at drinkag1.com. Momentum. Mass times velocity. People times ingenuity. Drive times opportunity. One times many. Heart times hard work. We turn the impossible on its head. Changing the game. We don't slow down. And we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Nothing Gophers back in at Minneapolis. Rob Stone here with you coming up on the State Farm Halftime Report. The guys will join me. We'll break down the play of the two quarterbacks, plus highlights from that intriguing Pac-12 SEC showdown right now. Utah hosting Florida. And we're going to hear from Coach Prime ahead of Big Noon Saturday's game. Number 17 TCU hosting Colorado. Clatter, Team Buff, ready for this one? <laughs> they, they better be. They better buckle it up because that TCU squad is going to be ready to go. First down and 10 of the 47. Play fake. Sims steps up in the pocket, buys time, throws underneath incomplete. He had his receiver. This time, Garcia Castaneda. But he couldn't hold on. Well defended. Trayvon Jones. I really love the thought there from the offense because Minnesota was starting to creep up towards the line of scrimmage. You could tell they were fast flow to stop the run game. And I thought to myself, boy, Nebraska's going to have to try, try to take a shot down the field. They tried it there, but Minnesota was ready and snuffed it out. Second down and 10 at the 47. Sims wants to run it this time. And he'll plow forward, get inside Minnesota territory. Jack Henderson making the tackle. Everything's lateral right now that Nebraska is doing, whether it's quarterback run or even trying to get those misdirection passes. They haven't had to get anything vertical or down the field. They can't get separation right now with their wide receivers. you got to expect that 
if Sims doesn't find somebody right away, he's going to be looking to run for this first down. Third down and six at the 49. Sims looking. Sims under pressure. And it is intercepted. Tyler Newbitt plucks it out of the air. He's a kid that they feel is a future first round draft pick and he gets a pick on opening night at home well newbin gets the pick but that was devin eastern down there holding the foot of the quarterback that's why the ball sailed and that's why the gophers are celebrating they're up three nothing baby it's over i mean we both saw this coming. I'm sorry. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get up to 2500 bonus cash plus complimentary maintenance on the Tucson or Santa Fe. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. I walk along the city streets you used to walk along with me. Every step I take recalls how much in love we used to be. Oh, how can I forget you when there is a always something there to remind me? Always something there to remind me. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. Ugh, bit of an eyesore. I'll say. Dry shave. Interesting technique. That's going to come back to haunt him. Some people clean while they cook, not these folks. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. If only they bundled the leaves. You know, I wouldn't have pegged these two as yogis. I still don't. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the Subway series menu. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. Have fun, sis. <laughs> Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America customized cash rewards card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Fox College Football is sponsored by Bank of America. What would you like the power to do? Welcome back. They took a look at the interception and confirmed it was an interception. Well, look at this catch by Newbin. I mean, he does a great job. It looks like, oh, no, this is going to hit the turf. But look at that right hand. It stays under the ball, and then he secures it as he kind of rolls over. And now he's on his back, ball in his stomach. Beautiful job. Great body control. Led the team with four interceptions a year ago. Now one in the opener. He was all Big Ten, looking to be all American this year. And like I said earlier, Gus, maybe a first-round draft pick next spring. He's that good. First down to 10 at the 26. For the Gophers, and they'll run it. Williams, he'll pick up four. Let's go downstairs to JT. Coach, appreciate you stopping right now. I know you've been looking forward to seeing Ethan Calic Manis. What is your early impression of your QB? It looks poised. You know, uh, he's doing a good job in the pocket. Did a good job on the scramble there to pick up first down, and uh, you know, throwing to the open guys, and taking what the defense gives us. Yeah, you bet. I asked for Kaliak Madness his last two starts of the year. He completed at least 67% of his throws in each. And on target again tonight at 75%, 9 of 12. Second down and 6 at the 30. And some movement draws a flag. Always good to hear from Coach there between quarters. Disconcerting signals by the defense, number four. Five-yard penalty. 
Second down. Luke Reimer got called right there because he clapped. Now, he wasn't trying to. He was clapping at his teammate right here, John Bullock. Watch Reimer. You see, he's clapping like that, but he's trying to get Bullock's attention. The problem is you can't do that because of the clap. You're mimicking the snap count and the cadence of many teams out there, and so that clap is why that penalty was called, and it goes against the Cornhuskers. Second down and one then at the 30 three yard line here's the handoff no it's Callie McManus running it and he'll pick up a first down he was looking for a block and did you see he saw Omar Brown absolutely flying down from his safety position so it's a beautiful fake right here look he reads it perfectly bullet comes down number five squeezes down so there's Callie McManus he's like oh I need that block and he's like okay he's not going to be blocked I'm going down. <laughs> that's, that's a smart play from a young quarterback right there and he keeps the chains moving first down at the 37 Minnesota up three nil Callie McManus dancing throws deep and incomplete closest man in the football Corey Crooms who's had a wonderful first half he has, and I tell Six you... Six catches. Part of the way that they've been able to get him the ball is because of that offensive line. The time that they've had up front, and remember, they're replacing three guys up front, new guards, new center, Nathan Bow, a Minnesota guy up, up there, 66 up front. And they're going to need to block well here behind the chain. Second down and 10. Tyler pounding it forward, maybe a yard on the play. Well defended by Nebraska. Gunnarsson in the middle. This is a great chance for Nebraska right here to get off the field. Gunnarsson, beautiful tackle right there on that second down play. He'll come off the field. They'll try to get some speed on the outside there on the pass rush. Javen Wright comes in, number 33. They gotta try to disrupt the timing of this passing game. They have not presented pressure in Kaliak Manis's face all night. Third down and nine for the Gophers. Kaliak Manis under pressure. Throws on the move and caught. Looks like a first down. Nicely done this time. It's Elijah Spencer, the junior from South Carolina. Charlotte transfer. Well, they had a breakdown in protection right there, and Kelly McManus had to just sprint for his life. Finally, Nebraska gets someone in his face. He leaves the pocket. There's Eliza, Elijah Spencer. Did a nice job coming back to the ball, and he's able to catch it for a first down. At the 47-yard line, P.J. Flex said something about Kelly McManus that really surprised me. And here he is to throw it. In trouble. Stays on his feet. Buys time, gets rid of it. B.J. Fleck, remember in the meeting yesterday, he said, we haven't had a quarterback drafted in a long time. And he said, I feel that this kid has a chance to play at the next level. And then he did say, a chance. You know, <laughs> because he's still, he's still young, but yes. And the, and the reason is, is that he's got all the intangibles that you can't coach. He's got the height, he's got the speed, he's got the mental makeup. He's got the talent, the arm talent in particular. He can spin it down the field. And now it's just on him to develop his football acumen, his leadership skills, and his ability to operate the offense. And if he can do those things, then yeah, maybe he's got a bright future. Second down and 10. And it's Tyler trying to slash through that Nebraska defense and will pick up two yards on the play. Tyler, six carries, 23 yards, averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Newsom with the tackle. Yeah, this is just a throwback game, isn't it? I mean, we got huddles, we got time in between plays. How about that? We've, and a bunch of third downs. You know, they've been, it feels like the old traditional, like, okay. It, but you better enjoy it because on Saturday, <laughs> they're going to be moving and grooving. That's right. In Fort Worth. Third down and eight at the 49. Kelly Mattis. Near side. Caught. First down. It's Jackson. Daniel Jackson picks up 15. 
I'll tell you, this is a great throw. I don't know if he meant to do this, but watch where this ball hits Jackson and where he was going to have to spin. He spins to the outside largely because that's where the ball was. Beautiful ball placement from the quarterback. Kelly McManus again the throw, and this time it's incomplete, overthrown. Brockington, the intended receiver, Lamech, brings up second down and a long 10 yards. And we haven't even gotten to the point where they got a new play caller as well. Brand new offensive coordinators. Kirk Soraka gone after a year. They got a new quarterback. So now it's a co-offensive coordinator situation between the quarterback's coach Greg Harbo and the wide receivers coach Matt Simon. There's Matt Simon on the sideline. Greg Harbo, he's really the one that's probably calling the plays. He's up in the box. There he is. But they haven't missed a beat from last year so far. Second down and 10. And they'll hand it over the right side. Bryce Williams pick up a yard. And I tell you, they have sustained drives every time they touch the football. First drive, Gus, nine plays. Second drive, 13 plays, got the field goal. Now, third drive, that was the ninth play. Ball security, the toughness, you can just feel them. They, they want to lean on this defense and churn out those run yards. But here, it's been a drive where their quarterback has had to bail them out on a few third downs, and here we are again. New quarterback. No, nope, I'm sorry. Kelly McManus in the game there with 21. Bryce Williams, Gus. Third down and nine to the 36. With six of eight on third down conversions. Kelly McManus over the middle. Incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. Nicely done by this Nebraska defense. The decision has to be made by Minnesota. You know, trying to get this ball over the middle. There's Crooms, and that is just tight coverage right there. Omar Brown does a nice job. Now maybe gets away with a little left arm right there, a little early, but they've been letting him play. There's been some physical play in the secondary, and now a long field goal attempt for Minnesota. Fagan Kessich, he hit one earlier for 34 yards. This one from 54 yards. He's got a big leg. Got it away. He pushed it left. Had enough length. But that one sailing wide at the end. And the score remains 3-0. Matt Rule. He'll take it. 3 to nothing. Minnesota. Back in a moment. Ooh, there's only two chairs left. You better hurry. The power to get there in no time, that's what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine. Not today, brother. Go, 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 go. You got this. Mom? You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Zé la vie, as I always say. Dad, you've never said that before. Never. The BMW Electric Summer On Sales Event is on now. Lease the 2024 BMW iXX Drive 50 for $7.99 per month now through September 4th. Cash back is good, but double cash back is even better. Discover matches all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year, which is cash back at its best. If you don't stain your deck, it's like the previous owner is still hanging around. <laughs> so today, let's stain with Bear, the number one rated stain, and make your deck yours. Bear, exclusively at the Home Depot. Take a look at this! They've left us a gift. I think we misjudged them. I love horses. We should open the gate. Let's see what Charlotte thinks. At CrowdStrike, we monitor trillions of cyber events to detect threats and prevent breaches before they happen to keep your business from becoming history. We stop cyber attacks. We stop breaches. We stop a lot of bad things from happening. CrowdStrike, protection that powers you. More shopping? You should watch your spending, honey. I'm saving with Liberty Mutual, Mom. They customize your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Check it out. You could save $700 just by switching. Ooh. I'll look into that. Let me put a reminder on my phone. Save $700. Pick up Dad from airport. Oh. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Do you know what the U of M does for you? From farms to breweries and orchards to markets, 
Discover how the University of Minnesota is cultivating a new crop of Minnesota businesses. Do you know what the U of M does for you? From hooves to hands and paws to possibilities. Discover how the University of Minnesota is making medical advances for all Minnesotans. Saturday, it's baseball night in America on Fox. Harper and the Phillies take on Yelich and the Brewers. Or Correa and the Twins battle Seager and the Rangers. It's baseball night in America, Saturday on Fox. The all-new Undisputed is here. Skip Bayless is back, joined by NFL legends Richard Sherman, Michael Irvin, and Keyshawn Johnson. Undisputed weekdays at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, only on FS1. And somebody called me and told me that they saw the show, and they said, hey, Skip doesn't get to talk. <laughs> Those guys are running him over. Here's a run for Nebraska, and it's a very good one. Anthony Grant still going. Finally wrapped up by Darius Green. A 14-yard game. Remember, Nebraska will get the football to start the second half. Yeah, and you can you get the sense that this offense gets a little energy because of those stops, you know, forcing a field goal attempt on the last couple of series. Minnesota makes one, they miss one. Did look like he might have just stayed up, but now they'll go back and, and look at this, I believe. He churned out a few extra yarded, yards. And they fix that in replay and bring it back to the 44. Anthony Grant started the 2022 season with a bang. Three straight 100-yard games, including 189 versus North Dakota. And five total touchdowns. But he did hit a slump. Back on the field now, second and two at the 44. Be second and two, second and two. Just trying to get the chains right here because. They were trying to they're, they're they're trying to speed the replay process up in college football and, and they were trying to just say like, OK, hey, via the comms set that the officials have, they're trying to say, hey, he was down back at the 44. So they moved back and forth. The problem is, is like, hey, it's also still just second and two. So you got to go reset the chains. And that's what we got going on. Nebraska now just their 15th offensive snap of the game here. Second down and short at the 44. Under three minutes to play. Second man through. Not a lot. As they push the pile forward, Anthony Grant. Grant with good size. 5'11. 205. I mean, you're just getting collision. Fullback linebacker. That is old school right there. Nebraska trying to go back to that. Get physical. We'll see if they go right back into that fullback mode here on third and short because Minnesota was up to the challenge there on second down. And now we'll go third and one here against this defensive front seven. Let's see if Jeff Sims tries to run it himself. Remember, he's terrific from the 45. And Sims runs it and picks up a first down as he gets to midfield, a five-yard gain. Well, that's a great job. And how about Gabe Irvin there, the featured tailback? He's the one that's going to get this lead block. Watch Gabe Irvin right here, number 22. It's kind of a token fake, and then Irvin's just looking for a block, and bang. And there's Sims getting right behind his tailback, pushing forward for the line to gain, and they get it, and it's a first down. He got skinny, as you always talk about. <laughs> that's, that's right. Get through that hole, first down. It's getting harder as we get older, though. You know? <laughs> From midfield. Here's Sims under pressure, throws, and incomplete. Oh, no, they say it's a catch. That ball looked like it may have been skipped to Garcia Castaneda. I tell you, that's a great job by him. You see him get those hands underneath the football, and I think Minnesota wants to take a timeout here. Timeout. Minnesota. It's the first of the half. 118 to play, second quarter, three to nothing. Gophers. Nebraska threatening. Up next, will you help land your savings? 
You don't have to wait until retirement to start enjoying your second act. With protected lifetime income from Pacific Life, imagine your future with confidence. For more than 150 years, we've kept our promise to financially protect and provide, so you can look forward to leading a whole different type of team. Talk to a financial professional about life insurance and retirement solutions with Pacific Life. Your milkshakes cost way less than before. Join Uber One and save way more. Okay, that's a cut. Your cornflakes cost way less than before. This membership. Cut. Your grilled steaks cost way less than before. Wait, all of that rhymes with milkshake? More or less. On a spicy fansville. Welcome back to Touch Take, where I lock myself in a room and I yell about sports. Hot take. Punting is for losers. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Let's go back to leather helmets. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. What would make you feel comfortable with the price? Well, no one made me feel more comfortable than my kindergarten teacher, Miss Jane. Try saying, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Shop at the all-new Carfax.com. From big cities to small towns and on main streets across the U.S., you'll find PNC Bank. Helping businesses both large and small, communities, and the people who live and work there grow and thrive. We're proud to call these places home, too. They're where we put down roots. And where together, we work to help move everyone's financial goals forward. PNC Bank. It's official. Caleb Williams is transferring. My man. Yeah. To Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Everybody say nacho. Nacho. It's melty, what? it's crunchy, and it's queso -y. Yeah. Easiest choice I've ever made. Of course, he's not the only one transferring. Hey, oh. Steph has got room for two quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. Sorry, and who are you? Matt Leiner. Quarterback. National champion? Afraid that doesn't ring a bell. For the full nacho experience from all four sides. Where's the beef? Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Fox College Football is sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Welcome back. Three to nothing. Minnesota on top of Nebraska. Nebraska faced with the second down and three. At the 43-yard line of the Gophers, here Sims runs it first down. Now, I know Jeff Sims wants to improve his completion percentage, wants to work on ball security, but his strength is running that football. Yeah. He should go away from that. Well, and, and Nebraska right now, candidly, I mean, that's what they have found that has worked, and they're trying to sit with that. And you're right about ball security. That's one thing from his Georgia Tech days. Beautiful throw there. Underneath, and the ball caught Alex Bullock with a nice grab. First down, gain of 15 yards. Here's Sims, delivers underneath again, almost picked off. Dangerous throw. That time, Justin Wally. Had a direct line of the football. And this one was just wide of his target. Tried to throw it before the break. Wally was right there. No room as Wally was just blanketing the wide receiver. So you got to assume that they'll go back to that quarterback run at some point. You know, they got two timeouts, Gus, so the clock is not really a factor right now. They got to feel like they're in good position to at least get three points here, trying to get that six. Sims has rushed in this first half for 75 yards on eight carries. Second down and 10, and a whistle. Timeout call. Timeout, Nebraska. So second of the half, it'll be 30 seconds in length. One timeout remaining here in the first half of the Cornhusker. There's a couple of things going on right here, and in the defensive huddle for Joe Rossi in Minnesota, 
what they've got to be talking about is a potential spy on the quarterback. Sims has been so dangerous running for them for Nebraska that they might need to spy. And on that side for Nebraska, this is what you've got to try to get. It's maybe a tight end slipped out there or get your quarterback loose like he has many times today. This was the first series around the right side, gets a big first down. He has been very dangerous with, with his legs, the zone read, the design runs. You've got to think with a timeout in their back pocket that's still available to them here inside of a minute. Second down and 10 at the 20-yard line. Sims runs it again, turns a corner, and goes out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Driven out of bounds by Trayvon Jones, but Sims now starting to turn it up with the ground game. Yeah, and now Minnesota is going to have to totally change their game plan, and they're going to have to spy Sims almost on every play. What a beautiful job on this series of getting down here now. 37 seconds timeout left. They do have third down. Got to get the first down here if you still want a chance at that end zone. Third down and one at the 11. Dave Irvin with room. He'll go down inside the Minnesota five-yard line. Jones again cuts it down. Got to take a timeout or go quickly. They'll choose to go quickly here. 28 seconds to go, another run straight ahead. Not enough for a touchdown by Gabe Irvin. They're going to have to take a timeout here. 15 seconds and counting. Second down and goal. And a flag. If this is a false start, they're going to have to bend that timeout. False start. Offense, number 57. Nebraska has chosen to use their last timeout to avoid a 10-second subtraction. Yeah, that was going to come with that 10-second runoff. Here, here's that play, a look from above. Right before the snap, you see the left side of that offensive line, that flinch right there. Good call by the officials. Nebraska's got to take that timeout in order to save themselves a snap here and avoid the 10 second runoff. So eight seconds, boy, Gus, this is when you, I think if you're Matt Rule, man, that this has to be your quarterback. And this has got to be a statement offensive play call for your rebuild at Nebraska. They have battled defensively to keep it in the three nothing game right here. A couple of stops for some field goals. The offense have gotten themselves down into this position. I know he's going to want to throw it, but they've got those those counters, those power plays with the quarterback, I would think about trying to put it in the hands of Sims here. Even from outside of the five-yard line, I think that might be their best option. Maybe even with an ability to throw the ball as he's rolling out a tight end, maybe behind that, and allow Sims to make the decision whether he wants to take it or dump it off to a tight end or a back. Nebraska out of timeout. Eight seconds remaining in the first half. Jeff Sims has been solid. First start at Nebraska. His team down 3-0. The Georgia Tech transfer. The play prior to the false start is under review to see if it was a score. So I believe they're going back to before the false start. This is the snap that got them down near the goal line, and there is what they're trying to talk about right now. And obviously, it looks like that ball is across the goal line when that elbow hits. What we don't see is any other part of his body as it's nearing. There's the elbow. Based on those lines on his pant, it looks like he might still be above the turf right there on the ankle of a teammate. There he finally hits. Those are some tough ankles. Again, this is before 
the false start. Dean Blandino, our rules analyst, is with us. Dean, your thoughts on this play? Interesting scenario here. Because of the false start, replay can come back and look at that previous play. He didn't have a legal snap. And what they're looking to see, they're piecing a couple of angles together. This angle shows us the ball breaking the plane just as that right elbow hits. And like Joel was saying, we've got to find out if something else hits the ground. So we take a look at this low end zone. It looks like the lower body is up and the nose of the ball may just break the plane. This could be a touchdown. Wow, wow. That would be a huge call. Let's see it. After review, the ruling that the runner was short of the goal line stands. Please reset the game clock to 11 seconds. 1-1. One, one. I, I mean, I, honestly, I, I felt like that could have gone either way, which is why I think they just went with stands. Thank you. Obviously, if they called it a touchdown, they would have left it a touchdown. Then the ensuing chaos with the false start. Then they had to take a timeout. And so now we're back to 11 seconds. And we get back to the game here where we're outside the five-yard line. Nebraska trying to capitalize on their best offensive series. 11 seconds on the clock now. Second and goal of the six. No timeouts for Nebraska. Jeff Sims out of the shotgun. Lemire Johnson next to him. Here's Sims to throw it. Looking in the end zone. Intercepted. Trayvon Jones. Sims never saw him. Watch Trayvon Jones right here. He falls back from his corner position right under the corner route, and he's there for an easy interception. Sims is reading this out. He sees Trayvon Jones out there on the corner, never sees him fall back. Jones had his eyes on the quarterback the entire time. Sims thinks he's got a touchdown in the corner. Jones is there for the interception, and Minnesota defense comes up big again. What a stop right there for Joe Rossi, and Matt Rule cannot believe it. Gophers will take a knee and head into the locker room at halftime with a three to nothing lead. Nebraska, although they're down, they should not be disappointed about how they played because they're still in this game. Uh, played as a whole, I would agree with you, but boy, that's a bad taste in your mouth not getting some points right there. P.J. Fleck has got to be really excited about the way that that Minnesota defense played. They are 40 and four under Fleck when leading at the half. Don't forget, after the break, join Rob Stone and the guys with the State Farm Halftime Show right here in Minneapolis. night in America on Fox. Harper and the Phillies fight for a spot in the NL Wild Card as they take on Yelich and the Brewers. Or Correa and the Twins battle Seager and the Rangers. It's baseball night in America, Saturday at 7 Eastern on Fox. take better care of your child than you can. But when they start getting into everything, you may need a little help. So Duracell created the only lithium coin batteries with a non-toxic bitter coating to help discourage swallowing. Making safety simple and giving you more peace of mind. Subway refreshed everything, and now they're slicing their deli meats fresh. That's why the new Subway Series subs are preferred by this QB. And preferred by his old backup QB. And if we prefer it, we know you'll prefer it too. Have you been behind me this whole time? Yep. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the Subway Series menu. 
Buy one foot log in the app, get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. Your paint is really bad. What? I said, best coffee I've ever had. Should have used Bear. Sorry, side wear. No, I said, should have used Bear. Today, let's paint. Right now, get America's most trusted paint brand at a new low price. Bear, only at the Home Depot. You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. We welcome you to the State Farm Fox College Football Halftime Show like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Sold out, gold out here in Minneapolis. 3-0 for the home team at the break as we welcome you back to Minneapolis. Rob Stone, Brady Quinn. Mark Ingram, Matt Leinart, and Urban Meyer back here with you. Minnesota, they've had a sneaky and consistent good defense through the course of the last couple of years, and their defense really has been the story of the first half, as we highlight it, courtesy of our State Farm halftime highlights, and it was all about that last stand, Mark. I mean, look at this interception right here by Trayvon Jones. This is what P.J. Fleck does. They've had the top two defense in the nation the past two years after the back-to-back -back champ Georgia Bulldogs. They're playing tough, they're playing physical, and they're being stingy. They kept Nebraska out of the end zone right here, keep the shutout in the, in the first half. I think the key for this defense is slowing down Jeff Sims in the run game. He's been very, uh, uh, he's been very dangerous using his legs in that first half, so I think they've shown an the inability to be effective throwing the football in that first half. So I think you need to slow Jeff Sims down with his legs and force them to beat you with his arm. That's about the only positive from this Nebraska offense is Jeff Sims' ability to run. You said he's the best player on the field. I still think he's probably the most talented player on the field, but the decision-making right there, you can't throw an interception down the red zone you need points. He had the interception earlier in the half, but this is what he's been able to do, Mark. You said he finished the first half with 81 rushing yards. That has been their best play. I still think in the second half they're going to have to find ways to continue to run him because that's what's effective. But get him outside the pocket, run pass option. They have to find other players, though, to generate some big plays from this offense or they're going to struggle scoring points like they did in the first half. No, and that's the reality of it. They need help. Jeff Sims needs help. Look. He made a bad decision, all right? He had the spot route, sitting at the tight end right over the ball. Didn't go there. Instead, forced the ball in the back of the end zone. That's where the interception lies. The first interception, he got hit when he threw it. That wasn't even that bad of a ball in the first place. He needs help, though. On the other side, there's sometimes your best off or best defense is a good offense, and it's the offensive line from Minnesota that has controlled this game. 18 total minutes so far. No one has even gotten close to Ethan Kaliak Manis throughout the game. They're six of nine on third down. They meticulously, meticulously moved the ball down the field. Unfortunately, missed field goal. Haven't been able to create many big plays and figure a way of punching it in. All that being said. This offensive line is weighing on Nebraska. Eventually, it's going to break. Look for Sean Tyler in the second half, coach. I think he's got a shot of, of breaking out. Well, Minnesota had three good drives, and in particular, the, the Nebraska defense, but in particular, the secondary came up and made big plays every time to stop them. The first one, you remember, the first drive of the game was a bubble screen. And watch the secondary come up and hit this for a, a minus yardage play. The next one was a reverse in the red zone. A lot of times you question that call, but you know what? If the second doesn't come up, make a play, that could be a big hit. And the final one, this is right before half, a big-time pass breakup. Nebraska secondary, to me, is the star of the game right now because, like you said, Minnesota is starting to wear them down a little bit. Yep. They would have scored points if it wasn't for the Nebraska second. Nebraska with a new 3-3-5 three, uh, three, 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 defensive formations only allowed 125 yards of offense at the break. Coming up... An intriguing SEC Pac-12 battle. The Gators leaving the swamp for the elevation of 14th ranked Utah. Plus, Coach Prime's makeover in Boulder is the ultimate college football experiment. We're going to hear from Deion Sanders on the backside. Cut. Jake from State Farm. Look, I want that personal price plan, so I'm going to level with you. I've literally never washed Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. Jeff, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. Uh... Yo, Joe, you sure this is clean? Absolutely, Patrick. There you go. Ugh. That's on me. 
Yeah. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Young lady who was you know, mid-30s, a couple of kids, recently went through a divorce. So she had a lot of questions when she came in. I watched my mother go through being a single mom. At the end of the day, my mom raised three children, including myself. And so once a client knew that she was heard, we were able to help her move forward. Your client won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Can one man change everything? I'm going to give you that. Build something out of nothing. Reinvent an entire team. Say that again. Turn a forgotten program into the talk of college football. Give old fans new hope. Can a one-win team upset a Big 12 powerhouse? We bring in the heat. Give Gus and Joel something to yell about. Wow! Can one man change everything? Baby, you best believe. We're about to find out. Give me my darn theme music. Big Noon is prime time. on Fox. The push to the postseason is on as Harper and the Phillies fight for a spot in the NL wildcard against Yelich and the Brewers who have their sights set on the central crown. Or the AL's top contenders square off as Correa and the Twins battle Seager and the Rangers. It's Baseball Night in America Saturday at 7 Eastern on Fox. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Oh, God. Oh. This place is a death trap. What is that? Shut it down. I came here to help you. We started off good. This looks great. But now we're starting to lose control. Why is the plane not ready? Touch it, it's raw. You asked me to help. So are you willing to change? Oh, God. Kitchen Nightmares returns Monday, September 25th on Fox. Welcome back to Minneapolis in the State Farm Fox College Football Halftime Show. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Number 14, Utah hosting Florida tonight, minus their starting quarterback, Cam Rising, still recovering from that ACL tear he suffered in the season-ending Rose Bowl last year. His fill-in doing quite well early on as Rising sitting on the sideline. Bryson Barnes. You know what they say, Rob? Bars. It's it's on the money when you're hitting money oh, bars with a 70-yard touchdown. <laughs> hey, Barnes, 10 to 14, 150 yards in that touchdown so far. Second quarter, 7-3 Utah. Nate Johnson now in quarterback, and he provides a little speed with his legs. Yeah, they're switching off quarterbacks in the first half, and he gave them an instant spark offensively, Ooh. making the guy miss. What's that? Utah, big coach, your Gators. Florida, 19 yards rushing, 0 of 6 on third down. Tough place to play, Rob. NC State in East Hartford taking on the Huskies. Victor Rosa makes it 7-0 UConn. What about the job Jim Moore Jr.'s done at UConn, building up that program? They're so much more competitive than what they were a couple years ago. Wolfpack QB Brennan Armstrong, 198 total yards, runs this one in from four out. It's now a 10-point lead for the Wolfpack. Kent State on the road at UCF. John Rice Plumley to Xavier Townsend. Good run out for the catch. Keep it in the first quarter. More from Plumley. Does it with his legs. Takes it from 17 yards out. <laughs> dual sport athlete. Oh, wow, wow. Dual threat quarterback, Rob. Coming up Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern here on Fox. Catch Big Noon kickoff live from Fort Worth, Texas. As number 17 TCU meets Colorado in the debut of Coach Prime, who sat down this week with our Aaron Andrews. I'm built for this. I was birthed for this. This is my calling. I know football and baseball and everything got me on this, this path here, and I love it. This ain't work to me. When I get up in the morning, I'm like, hey, I'm just, I'm done. Man, I'm done, you know. I can't wait to get out of bed to get here and do my thing. I, I love it. This is not work. I love it. Coach 
which has got plenty of overalls and energy. You can catch that whole conversation Saturday on Big Noon kickoff. All the conversation about Colorado this offseason, Coach, has understandably been about Deion Sanders. You were out there a couple weeks ago. His staff, though, really impressed you. Yeah, he did a really good job. But I think the whole college football world was wondering what he would do with his coaching staff. Coming from a HBCU program to now Colorado. He hired Sean Lewis, who was the head coach at Kent State, one of the top offenses in the country. It's an RPO machine. It fits Shadir Sanders perfectly. Charles Kelly spent through the last three or four years with Nick Saban on defense. They allowed me to sit in the meetings and then, Mark, the number one thing, I watch practice. There is very little, if any, wasted time. Coaches talk too much on the practice field. There wasn't talking. They were going. And Deion Sanders with his prime, coach prime golf cart, and his coach prime was a hoverboard or something like that, was going around. <laughs> and the one thing he did, he made sure everybody was moving. I was very impressed with their coaching staff and their practice. Yeah, you brought up the coaching staff. I'm eager to see some of these players that they got for Colorado. For one, Shadur Sanders, prime son. He can spin it, can he, coach? He got NFL talent, and if Colorado's going to do what Prime says they could do, it's going to rely heavily on Shador Sanders. But also, Travis Hunter, a two-way phenom, playing wide receiver and cornerback. Coach Prime says he is a straight dog, and when he's on defense, he locks down half the field. So when he needs a rest, it's expected to be on the offensive side of the ball because they have an explosive and deep wide receiver group. But one person I'm telling you to look out for in this game is running back Dylan Edwards. He's been playing for Prime since he was four years old with Prime's youth team at Prime U down in Dallas. So expect him to be an impact, playma impact playmaker in this game. Four years old. Four years old, Four. Prime U. Mark, TCU's got some pretty good players on the offense and defense side of the ball. And we go back to last year, guys, the Cinderella story, the Cinderella quarterback story with Max Duggan. Well, they got a new guy at the helm in Chandler Morris. And I want to remind everybody that Chandler Morris won the job last year and got hurt in week one. Here's some highlights from their spring game. But they absolutely love this kid. This kid has experience. He's not the biggest kid, not the strongest arm. He's highly accurate. He's got a lot of savviness and moxie. They love how he plays the position, Brady. And we know they lost Quinton Johnson and Miller and some big-time guys. But this receiving core and the skill position group is deep. They're talented. They got a lot of guys from the SEC. So I think this offense is going to be as explosive as we saw last year. Yeah, time to study Dykes. You know, after you lose a first round pick and Quentin Johnson, and then you also have Darius Davis, who's an NFL prospect. You're like, how could you be faster and better? He said, no, 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 we are. J.B. Richardson from Oklahoma State, Jalen Robinson from Ole Miss, JoJo Earl from Alabama. He feels like they're faster and could be more explosive than last year. And don't forget, too, Kendall Bryles now taking over for Garrett Riley, who moved on to Clemson. That is a huge hire for Sonny Dykes. He has a lot of familiarity with him. He doesn't feel like there's going to be a drop-off from what they had with Garrett Riley. Sonny's had a big focus on nutrition and hydration this week. Temperatures in the 100s for that one on Saturday. P.J. Fleck called Tyler Newman the team's X-Factor. The safety had a team-high four picks last season. Stole his first tonight. 3-0 at the break. Second half kick when we return. Your heart is the beat of life. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or alaskirin or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor if Entresto is right for you. Let's play snake oil. Crazy products. The casket that you can build yourself. Can you figure out which are real and which are fake? It is a suitcase with a head on it. <laughs> Bet it all. David Spade host. Are they real or snake oil? Snake oil. Series premiere Wednesday, September 27th on Fox. I'm the team mascot. Boy, am I running late. Oh, <laughs> what a hit. And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might take your season. So get off date and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Wendy's new breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. I got that sauce biscuit and some Tay-Tays. Eggman and Saucy Boy. Two hot coffees. No matter what you call it, Wendy's breakfast is that breakfast. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Are we a reflection of our places in life or are they reflections of us? Could we have been somebody else if we'd taken a right turn instead of a left?
Or if we'd taken the place with a hot tub. Or the one uptown. We went downtown. Could we be fabulous? Or fantabulous? Yes. Yes, we sure could. With Apartments.com's multitudes of listings, our possibilities and I'm yours are truly multitudinous. Multitudinous. Apartments.com. The place to find a place. Me and my best friend Amy went for a mini break in Edinburgh. Woohoo! <laughs> it was quite surreal. We stayed with Tessa. She is this incredible artist. The room that we stayed in, there is a sort of dreamish element running through. Definitely. The world that she's created. It makes you feel like you're in a little storybook or something. <laughs> Fox College Football is sponsored by Wendy's. Kick it with Fox Big Noon. And welcome back to the Twin Cities. Three to nothing. Gophers on top of the Cornhuskers as we prepare for the second half. Gus Johnson along with my partner Joel Klatt. Hard fought. Yeah. First half by both teams. It's a good one. It was a really good one. I really love the fact that both offenses had a little success. Both defenses found ways to get stops. But really, it was about the offenses not finding ways to finish those drives and get into the end zone, get those points. Let's take a look at some of the next level plays of the first half. From the first half, sponsored by AT&T Business. Next level moments need next level network. Here's this nice stop by Nebraska. Watch as they don't get fooled on the end around. Daniel Jackson is trying to get out there. Nope, snuffed out. And then Minnesota misses a field goal. So on two positive offensive series, they only get three points. Then Nebraska starts moving the ball. But Jeff Sims, a couple of interceptions. One of them, he got his foot tangled up. Ball sails. Then a poor read right at the end of the half. They don't get points after even they felt like they might have had one in the end zone on a review. But both of these offenses, Gus, just clean up those little things. Execute once you get into the scoring area because they've been able to move the ball between the 20-yard lines. Nebraska will receive the ball to start the second half. I can't wait to see how Sims bounces back. You know, listen, if I know Matt Rule well enough, he immediately went right up to him and said, listen, one, we got to take care of the ball. That's an obvious one. And then two, we're going right back to you. And he's going to try to instill that confidence back in his quarterback, who in large part was the reason they were in that position anyway. Ramir Johnson with running room, hits the sideline with a burst, gets a midfield inside Minnesota territory, down inside the 35. That's a 65-yard return. Let's check in with JT on the sideline. Well, it's interesting because I don't think P.J. Fleck is going to like the way that one started. I asked him, how do you carry the momentum from your defense the way you ended that first half? He said, Jenny, I don't believe in momentum because we still need to play better football, take care of the ball, and we only have three points. That's the reality. Now, in terms of Nebraska, Joel, you pointed it out. What Matt Rule would say to his QB, Jeff Sims, he said, we got to play through him. I'm not worried about that last pick. It got away from him. We're going to use his strengths, use him on the ground, and get back to it. First down and 10 of the 35. Great field position for Nebraska to start the second half. They run it with Grant over the right side. And there is Devin Eastern to plug up the hole. And it's a one-yard game. And if I'm Minnesota defensively and I'm Joe Rossi, the defensive coordinator, I'm going to start to commit all the resources up near the line of scrimmage to stop in the run game, whether it's a back or it's the quarterback. And the other thing that you got to start talking about is who is going to spy Jeff Sims. He's the one that hurt this team in the first half. Nine carries, 81 yards. So somebody on that defense has got to account for number seven on every snap. Second down and nine. They'll pitch it. Now they'll throw it back to Sims. Sims can't grab it. And he does finally delivers. It's a touchdown. Wow. Alex Bullock. Wide open. Nebraska makes chicken salad.
That was wild. First, they're going to pitch it back to Grant, 23. Here's the pitch. Now Grant is going to try to get up near the line of scrimmage. Has to be backwards. Looks to be backwards. Tips off of the quarterback Sims' hands. He picks it up. And it's a wide open Bullock in the end zone. All the Minnesota defenders up near the line of scrimmage running after Jeff Sims. And Bullock was wide open for the touchdown. Now Vada with the extra point. And it's good. Nebraska scores on their opening drive of the second half. It wasn't pretty, but effective. And the Cornhuskers will take it. 7-3. to three. Big red. Everybody to the wild, wild west A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness Say what you say, but give me that bomb beat from Dre Let me serenade the streets of LA From Oakland to Sacktown The Bay Area and back down Cali is where they put they mag down Give me come on Cash back is good But double cash back is even better. Discover matches all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year, which is cash back at its best. Panera's You Pick 2 means when part of you wants crispy, crunchy, fresh, and part of you wants melty, smoky, peppery. Both yous win big. You Pick 2 and get more. Only at Panera. $1 delivery fee on our app. There you go! That's what I'm talking about! Two. Is this your plan to watch the game today? Uh, yeah, I have to watch my neighbor's NFL Sunday ticket. It's not your best plan, but you know what it is? My plan from Verizon. Switch now and they'll give you NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on them. This plan is amazing. Another amazing plan? It's backing away from here very slowly. Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. Football season is here. Get NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on us. A $449 value. Plus, get a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Only on Verizon. The Big Ten is now on Peacock. And we're going big. Like 100,000 screaming fans big. Record books, rivalries, rushing the field big. We're talking football all day with exclusive games big. Let's go! and a front row seat for the biggest game of the night. It's the biggest schools all season. Big 10 Big. Streaming on Peacock. This is gonna be hell on earth. Why are you here? I wanna get punished. Fight! This is not a game show. Special Forces World's Toughest Test. Season premiere Monday, September 25th on Fox. How about Alex Bullock? This kid is a walk-on, and not only did he make a big impression in fall camp, but he earned a scholarship and was named a starter last Friday after struggling to find an identity under the previous coaching staff. Knowledge of the playbook and the trust of his coach were the deciding factors. Bullock said Coach Rule has made it clear he's going to put the best players out there. And Alex Bullock, not only does he make his first career catch, Zero it's a touchdown. To Nebraska with a 7-3 lead. They bring it out of the end zone. Ready. He stood up and driven backwards. Good special teams going on for this Nebraska team. Well, and that's exactly what you need if, you're Matt, if you're Matt Rule, Gus, and you're trying to rebuild, right? You're, you're trying to rebuild. You're trying to get an attitude of working hard one you want specials plays like that absolutely and you want guys like Alex Bullock Alex Bullock is a Nebraska kid long lineage of walk-ons in Nebraska that that is one of the most storied walk-on programs in the history of college football and he comes in there works hard and rewarding a guy that works hard like that that's what starts to build the culture throughout the program for a, a guy like rule as he's pointing to rebuild this organization into what it feels like it rightly is. So Minnesota now playing from behind for the first time tonight as Sean Tyler runs it and he's stopped by Cameron Lenhart, four-yard game. Boy, and that is, that's a tough pill to swallow for Minnesota after they have to feel like they played so well defensively, got a couple of those turnovers in the first half, and now they've got to go back to it on offense. You know, Sean Tyler running the football, you got Ethan Kaliak Manis, who's played pretty well so far, but they just haven't finished some of those positive drives and only have three points. 
Kelly McManus to the far side. Incomplete. That one underthrown. Looking for Crooms. That brings up third down at six. Well, they've been in, it seems like they've been in third down all night long, Minnesota. And they've been pretty good at it, though. They were six of nine so far coming into this series. And right here, they got to continue to protect the quarterback up front. And Kelly Menace has got to calm down here, get a little bit in rhythm, and be accurate with the ball. Third and six at the 23 for Minnesota. Kelly Manis underneath. It's caught, but no room at all for Daniel Jackson. He goes down immediately. No gain on the play, and he's stopped by Luke Reimer. Oh, and Luke Reimer, he's another one of these guys that you got to count on if you are Matt Rule. He is a program builder. He's stuck around. He's one of the old hats, right? He's the type of guy that everyone's going to look to and say, are we buying into this new staff? And he says, absolutely. Let's go. He's going to lead us, and he's playing great defense so far, leading that charge on a nice third down stop. Billy Kemp ready to return it. Mark Crawford sends it away from his own 10 flag on the play. And the ball caught at the 33, and Kemp gets out of bounds around the 35-yard line. And let's see. 44-yard punt, four-yard return. Take a break, seven to three. Nebraska on top of Minnesota with the football when we return. Around here, we like to keep things simple and honest. Sure do. That's why at Progressive, we show your rates from other companies, even if they're lower than ours, so you can choose what's best for your family. Comparing rates used to be a hard day's work, but not with AutoQuote Explorer. Need me to help again? No. So join us and taste why Progressive is the name people trust. Sorry, are we talking about apples now or insurance? <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny? Let Innovation Refunds help with your ERC tax refund so you can improve your business however you see fit. Rosie used part of her refund to build an outdoor patio. Blink. Dr. Marshall used part of his refund to give his practice a facelift. Emily used part of her refund to buy. I run a wax museum. Let Innovation Refunds help you get started on your ERC tax refund. Stop waiting. Go to innovationrefunds.com. You really got the brows. There's DNA. Then there's heavy duty DNA. H DNA. It's what every GMC Sierra HD driver is born with, and it's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. The new 2024 GMC Sierra HD. Tow hitches of the world. Prepare for glory. Your paint is really bad. What? I said best coffee I've ever had. Should have used Bear. Sorry, side wear. No, I said should have used Bear. Today, let's paint. Right now, get America's most trusted paint brand at a new low price. Bear, only at the Home Depot. This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. On season six of Fansville by Dr. Pepper, things are heating up. Mom, Dad, I have a girlfriend, and she likes college football. The stars have arrived. I've made my choice. This season, I will be drinking Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. And everyone wants a taste of fame. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, because every fan needs a podcast. To get a thick color, I use two coats of maroon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I love your nails. Thank you. Fox College Football is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Protect the stuff you love with renter's insurance. And by Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. The last time Nebraska won in Minneapolis, 
came in 2015 under head coach Mike Riley. Tommy Armstrong Jr. threw for 261 yards and three touchdowns as the Cornhuskers cruise to victory 48-25. Right now, Jeff Sims trying to follow in Armstrong Jr.'s footsteps with a 7-3 lead. In his first start as the quarterback for Big Red. Here's Sims in trouble and sacked. Well done. Jalen Logan Redding at the bottom of the pile comes up with the tackle for the loss. You know, Matt Rule has got to be wondering to himself, how is my team going to respond after the way that first half ended? This is the interception that Sims threw, right? Well, what happened? They bounce right back. Big return out of the gate. So the kickoff, now they go for broke here. Marcus Satterfield calls a play. Looks like it's going to be a totally busted play. Nope, they find the end zone. That response, that's what Matt Rule wants to see. His team just continue to play hard, continue to fight and try to put themselves in position to win, which they have. Second down and 16. Sims wants to run it now, and he crosses the 40, gets up to the 43, maybe the 44-yard line, as Kyler Bow comes up with the tackle. Officials timeout for defensive injury. And that's Bow who you said on the tackle. That's 305 pounds chasing it down, and he's slow to get up. Back in a moment. Sometimes, all you need to change your life is a sign. A sign that says, Hank, this is the place you've been looking for. And sometimes that sign is an actual sign that's mounted to a building. One second, I'm looking at a sign. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't love B-dubs just because I'm a buffalo with wings. Frankly, that's offensive and reductionist. Because this place? Come on. It's like they took beer and, like, made it into a place go, 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 and then go, 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 gave go, 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 that place sports and chicken wings. And the people? Cuba. Cuba. The best. Oh! What the heck is going on, Marty? This isn't a game. This is trivia. Yeah, this place is kind of like heaven. You know, without needing to get hit by a bus. Let's go sports bar! GEICO makes car insurance easy. Enjoy your flight. You too. As easy as saying the wrong thing. Me too. Really? What? Dad, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Do I look like I'm going on vacation, sir? It's not how airports work, man. You, you could? Dad! Are we leaving or... I don't even want to go on vacation anymore. I thought I knew you. She has hairspray that is over the limit. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to Geico. And you're not wearing socks. Get a grip, man. Invention is an act of determination. To go where you couldn't before. Achieve goals that once felt out of reach. That's why Honda engineers didn't just redesign the Pilot Trail Sport. They built the most off-road capable Honda SUV ever. The Pilot Trail Sport. Part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. Christian McCaffrey and the Niners take on the Steelers. Then in America's Game of the Week, Jordan Love beats the Packers against Justin Fields and the Bears. It's a huge week one doubleheader, September 10th on Fox. Last night, Nebraska volleyball made history when it packed Memorial Stadium with 92,003 fans for a celebration of volleyball, setting the record for the most fans ever to watch a women's sporting event. Guinness Book of World Records. Wow. I know. I had a chance. Did you watch some of that? I, I watched some yeah, of that. We, I watched it. I watched they They did the walkout like the football team does, you know, yeah. 92,000. That was incredible. And... I just want to say, listen, everybody on here knows I, I went to Colorado. We're old rivals. Nebraska's fans are some of the best fans in sport. Not just collegiate sport, in sport. Wow. They travel, they support, they, they, they have lived with a football team that has underachieved for the better part of two decades now, and they're still there in the seats. It doesn't matter, Gus, just like that, with the corn heads on, tip of the cap for last night and for 20 years and more of support of this 
program in this athletic department. Trev Albert should be very proud of what he's done and what these fans have done for a long time. Right now, Cornhusk is faced with the third down and nine. At the 43, Sims dancing. Sims corralled. Sims goes down once again. This time, it's Ja Joyner. And they say this young man has freakish talent. Well, and this is one of the only things that Minnesota didn't do well a year ago. Statistically, one of the best defenses in the Big Ten and the country. But they didn't get to the quarterback. They weren't able to finish those pass rushes. And they were hoping that Ja Joyner was going to be a guy that could do that and start to finish. And that's a big sack right there forcing a punt. Second sack on the drive for Minnesota. They get this one away from the 30. And it's fair caught. There is a flag all the way back at the 19-yard line. And this may go against the Gophers. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Receiving team number 19. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Well, you're going to get a personal foul if you take away the plant leg. If the punter has nowhere to go on that plant leg and you take it away completely, they'll go with the roughing call, and that's why they've gone with it here. Watch as he's up in the air, and then, bam, he gets hit before he can come down in the plant leg. Ryan Bushini. The only question I would have is, if is Zero pulling him in, Hutchmaker, right here? Look how he kind of pulls him into it. I think you can make an argument that that's the contact that's dragging him in. I think I'd rather have seen that be a running into right there just because of that pull from the defensive tackle who was up in that kind of up back position. That was Nash Hutchmaker. So Nebraska keeps the football. They'll run it on first and 10 at the 45. Grant picks up five. Striga with the tackle. Well, now you got to take advantage, though, right? When you get a break like that offensively, this is when you've got to get right back into that rhythm that we saw at the end of the first half. There's Marcus Satterfield, the offensive coordinator. Drew up that, dialed up that trick play that wound up into the end zone. He's got to find the open areas of this defense, which has been hard to move the ball against. Second down and five in midfield. And another run. Not a lot over that right side. Baranowski. Grabbed an ankle, and it's a two-yard gain. Well, now it's third down, and it's Jeff Sims time. Although, is Sims trotting off the field? Sims is trotting off the field. No, now he's coming back on. What in the world is going on there? There's a lot of substitution issues going on. They do have a backup quarterback on the field. There's two quarterbacks on the field, Gus. Harburg, 10, caught a passer in the first half, and Sims. Well, let's see who takes the snap. Looks like Sims is calling the play. Harburg. Splits out as a wing back on the right side. Third and three. Sims bottled up and tripped up sack once again. Danny Strigo. Str a loss of eight. Strigo, probably their best returning defensive lineman, stood up on that left side. That ball was supposed to come out quickly. Sims had nowhere to go, and then now there's a host of defensive linemen in there, and Strigo just gets that heel, bats it away, and they're able to get Sims down and force another punt. Third sack on the drive, none in the first half for Minnesota. Reddick is the deep man. Had to take a bounce and field it at the 15. Saturday, it's baseball night in America on Fox. The fight for the postseason is on. It's Bryce Harper and the Phillies take on Kristen Yelich and the Brewers or the Twins go up against the Rangers. That's the action Saturday night at 7 Eastern on Fox. Check for the game in your area. So Minnesota back on the field. 8.37 to go in the third quarter, down 7-3. to three. Sean Tyler in the backfield with Kaliak Manis, who calls the play at the line of scrimmage. Kaliak Manis 
Pulls it down. Throws on the move. Sidearm. First down. Great catch. Daniel Jackson. Elliot Grant is sidearming that football for a gain of 12. I'll tell you what. How about that arm talent? Wasn't Pat Mahomes. Well, yeah, wasn't there initially, was it? And then the quarterback, Kelly McManus, kind of turns into a shortstop. I've always said this. You know, you're talking about like, oh, you know, it's kind of like being a pitcher, being a quarterback, being a pitcher. I've never felt that way. I think that playing the position of quarterback is much more like playing the middle infield because you got to dip down. you got to change your arm angle all the time, throw on the move, and we saw a great example on that play. First down to the 29. Play fit. Kelly McManus. Continues to roll, looking. And incomplete as he throws it out of bounds. Boy, this defense has done such a better job on first down after that first couple of series. And they're forcing Minnesota constantly behind the chains and off schedule on second and third down. Now again, a second and long. What we saw early in the game is that Minnesota was able to complete some of those short passes to get positive yards on first down. That's gone away. Now, the only thing that Nebraska hasn't been able to do is get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We'll see if they can start to present some pressure here in the second half. Second down and 10 of the 29. And they'll stay on the ground this time. Tyler looking for room. Picks up a couple. And Isaac Gifford defensively for Nebraska. Tell you what, this Nebraska defense looks good. They, they do. And... What they've been able to do is just keep the ball in front of them. You know, no big plays. They've limited their explosive plays. Then they've made the plays when necessary in order to force field goals or get off the field. Here's another chance. It's third down. Can you get pressure on the quarterback? More importantly, though, the coverage on the outside has been very good. Third down and eight. Only 142 yards of total offense for Minnesota. Kelly McManus over the middle and caught. Well done. He finds his tight end, Brevin Spanford. That's a first down. And they're also going to get a roughing the passer call in the backfield. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. It's targeting defense number nine. 15-yard penalty added on to the end of the run. Automatic first down. This play is under further review. Ty Robinson call for the roughing the passer. This would be big because Ty Robinson is one of their best players. Here's Robinson. Oh, absolutely. Did you see the little dip right there as he went in and he dips down and goes with a crown right to the face? So at this point, you can have either type of targeting. You can have defenseless player, which would be any forcible contact to the head or neck area, or you could potentially have striking with the crown. I believe that it will be defenseless with contact forcibly to the head or neck area, and I don't see a way where they cannot rule this as targeting. Dean Blandino joins us. Dean, your thoughts? I agree with Joe's comments. If you have a defenseless player, the passer in that passing posture, and the defender, you look for what is he leading with, and that's the right call. It is confirmed. Leading with the head, forcible contact to the head neck area. All right, all right, Dean, thank you very much. Robinson has been ejected from this game. Now, you know exactly how I feel, Gus. I hate the ejection. Hate it. I think it's stupid, and we need to do away with it in college football. Good first down there from Minnesota. I feel bad for Ty Robinson. Letter of the law, it's absolutely targeting, but now Minnesota gets that third down. Nice completion there from Kelly McManus, and they finally went back to the tight end. Brevin Span Ford, who was quiet after the first series. He got a catch, and that, I believe, was just his second catch of the night. It was now 16 yards. So the first down from the Nebraska 45. Kelly McManus dancing to the sideline. Boy, he put that one on the money. At the 25, Crooms again. A gain of 19. Crooms is having a night. And how about that ball from Kelly McManus? Again, a little bit three-quarter delivery on the run. Gets a foot down, secured. Beautifully done right there. Good execution by the passing game of the Gophers. So Crooms, seven catches, 62 yards with a long of 20. First down and 10 at the 26. Tyler. And Sean Tyler gains 
two yards. But Gus, what have we seen on these positive series from Minnesota offensively? They've gotten down here a couple of times before, and then this is where Nebraska is able to bow their neck and force them into a field goal situation. They do that in part because of a play like that. Nondescript first down play, and they just kind of hand it off. No creativity, no side words, uh, sideways momentum or movement from the offense. They get a stop, and now Minnesota's behind the chains, and Nebraska has the advantage. Second and eight. Play fake. Kelly McManus delivers. Sideline! Intercepted! Wow! Omar Brown read it, reacted, and gobbled the football up. That's how you play coverage right there. How about Omar Brown? Runs the route for him. Little crossing route. He's trying to get back out to the corner. Omar Brown runs underneath the route. Ball's underthrown. It's a pick for the Cornhuskers. That defense living up to the black shirts. Wendy's new breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. I got that sauce biscuit and some tay-tays. More formally known as sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Bis squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Cup of double java. It's two coffees. Cup of double java. No matter what you call it, Wendy's breakfast is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar piggy bundles. Gran Turismo is the number one movie in the country. This is insane. Crowds everywhere are blown away with a 98% audience score. Let's go show the world. Gran Turismo, rated PG-13, now playing. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade money every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Just have everything. We have your thing. On the next big day. Ready? Go. Ashley's Labor Day mattress sale is going on now. Get 0% interest for 60 months on in-store mattress purchases. Save up to $700 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable base sets. Or up to $900 on select Purple and Beautyrest Black adjustable base sets. Only at Ashley. May the right company turn any lake into a great lake. May the toughest part of your day be deciding which arm to carry the cooler with. And may high noon not just be a time of day, but the perfect way to enjoy it. High noon, sun's up. <gasps> there he is. It's right there. Oh, he's straight ahead. He's straight ahead. Yeah. Go, go, go. Cover more ground in the Kia Sportage Turbo Hybrid. Kia, movement that inspires. Fox College Football is sponsored by Wendy's. Try Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger today. Omar Brown, big time. How about Matt Rule is the sixth head coach to come through Lincoln since legendary head coach Tom Osborne retired in 97. And Husker fans are hoping he can return them to glory. I mean, you look about what Nebraska was under Tom Osborne. They, they were the preeminent program in college football. And a broken tackle. Irvin sprinting. And Irvin all the way up to the 40-yard line. Nicely done. A 27-yard jaunt. There's what we saw a couple of years ago. Remember when he was a true freshman, we saw those bursts, the toughness, the physical running right here. Bam! He gets drilled right in the hole and just bounces off the linebacker and sprints upfield. That's exactly why he's back there. And they haven't featured him much tonight. He hasn't gotten many carries. Now three carries, 37 yards. That one clearly 
best one of the night. Remember, Dave Urban is six feet, 220 pounds. He's a big guy with speed. First down. Here he is again. 22, Urban the Trying to here. cut that one back. Stopped by Devin Easter. A four-yard game. And what, what Nebraska is doing a nice job of here is, is that they're using the quarterback's ability to run and his effectiveness so far tonight, and they're using it against the defense. And now they're establishing other pieces of the run game. Marcus Satterfield doing a nice job here. And at any given point, you can just let Sims keep the ball, put him in a read in the shotgun, and still hurt the defense with seven. Here's the reverse as they go over the right side. And another first down for Nebraska. Well played. A gain of nine. Lloyd, the carrier. What you're seeing here is you're seeing the fast flow from this defense and all those eyes in the backfield. And then you can catch them and get back out the other side. You get a couple of blocks and you can get positive yardage. And now they've moved the chains and they create a first down. Really key for them is this first down. They don't want to drop back and throw it. They don't have the wide receivers that can win. They've thrown a couple of interceptions. So the key moment here is the first down on any series, getting positive yards right here. First down at the 49. Play fake, Sims underneath, caught at the 31-yard line. And the first down this time, it's Marcus Washington. Get the safety down. What do you do? You just throw the route right behind him. Beautiful job. Bring him down to the ground. That's a nice play. And Nebraska's got a rhythm offensively. Sims starting to feel it a little bit right there. And this is clearly one of their best drives of the night so far. 17-yard reception. This drive started at the 11-yard line. Here's the run with Grant. And they bottle him up and tackle him for a loss. But when you look back at Matt Rule's coaching career at Temple, he won two games his first year. At Baylor, he was 1-11 and 11 his first year. Yeah, and listen, those two were huge rebuilds. I mean, huge. You were, we all have to go back in time and just remember what Baylor was. I thought Baylor was going to be bad for the better part of a decade after what happened at the end of the Art Bryles era. They had Al Grobe there for a year, and Matt Rule goes there, and everyone's like, why did Matt Rule go to Baylor? And by the end of year three, what were they? Double-digit winners, and eventually they would win the Big 12 under their next coach. Sims pounding it forward. He'll gain eight yards on the play. And this is a program that... that was far superior to where Temple, Temple was or where Bar Baylor was. And now Matt Rule, first year as a head coach, Temple, 2-10, and ten, they get going, and he is a builder. He did it twice already. I don't care what happened at Carolina. The NFL is a totally different animal. That's been proven time and time again with all the guys that have gone up and come back down. And here he is, and he's got all of that history of building programs. He's learned what he's learned at the NFL and he's trying to put it in place here in Lincoln. And here's the run with Sims. First down and a little bit more as he goes down at the 21. I mean, when you look at Matt Rule, the last time he walked the college sideline was 2019 with Baylor, where the Big 12 Coach of the Year led the Bears to an 11-3 mark, and they finished ranked 13th in the nation. Just two seasons earlier in his first season in Waco, Baylor, as we mentioned, 1 and 11. 40 seconds to go, third quarter. Nebraska up 7 to 3 on the road and driving. Season opener, conference opener. Big game for both teams. Here's Sims again, and he is determined to run the rock as he gets to the Minnesota 11. Trayvon Jones with the tackle. And that could take us to the end of the third quarter after the seven-yard run. This is the exact style of football that Matt Rule dreamed of this entire offseason. This is what Trev Alberts, the AD, dreamed of when he was hiring Matt Rule. They wanted this is the end of the third physical. quarter. And here it comes. The Cornhuskers play their best third quarter in a long time. Up 7-3, going to the fourth. Another day, another... Take a look at this! They've left us a gift.
I think we misjudged them. I love horses. We should open the gate. Let's see what Charlotte thinks. At CrowdStrike, we monitor trillions of cyber events to detect threats and prevent breaches before they happen to keep your business from becoming history. We stop cyber attacks. We stop breaches. We stop a lot of bad things from happening. CrowdStrike. Protection that powers you. Big Impact Research. Minnesota's Masonic Institute for the Developing Brain advances brain health from the earliest stages of development. At the MIDB, neurodevelopment experts from across multiple disciplines collaborate to address brain health to benefit patients and families. The unique one-stop setting includes state-of-the-art research facilities dedicated to how young brains develop, clinics specializing in care for children with neurobehavioral conditions, family-friendly spaces, and a community center. John Cena returns home to SmackDown. Cena Nation is back. All new Friday Night SmackDown at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Caleb Williams has transferred to Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. This burger's my inspiration, and I just hope to inspire you. Oh, you have inspired us. Thought we were doing names on the headband. Get it together. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. So yeah, USAA, they always have my back. USAA? You were in the military? Oh no, I wasn't, but my grandpa was. He joined USAA, passed membership to my mom, then to me. There's other ways to get in? Yeah, my neighbor Ron, he's in, cause his wife served. Even little Luna, once she's born, her dad served. So all this time I could have had USAA insurance. And banking. Where's my phone? <laughs> Over there. USAA, for the military community and their families. On season six of Fansville, it's the last year of college football as we know it. What's going on? The road to the playoff is expanding. To 12 lanes. Rivalries are crumbling. Why are you leaving? TV revenue. We wouldn't understand. So we're just not rivals anymore? Tensions are rising. Where's the flag? These refs should be criminally investigated. Do something! Because this season, things are heating up. What's happening, Sheriff? It's a transfer portal. It's out of control. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Make this the summer you started here and ended up all the way up here. The summer you gather with a few friends and later a few hundred more. Found the perfect place to dive in and an even better way to dry off. Make this the summer of Jeep. Introducing employee pricing on all 2023 Jeep Gladiator models. Purchase and get 6,453 below MSRP on the 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Yeah, that. She's intense. Of the mad singer. The jungle. The jungle. The weirdest the night ever. You are a pistol, and you just blew the roof off this place. Can one man change everything? I'm going to give you that. Can a one win team upset a Big 12 powerhouse? We bring in the heat. Give Gus and Joel something to yell about. Wow. Can one man change everything? Baby, you best believe. We're about to find out. Give me my dirt theme music. Big Noon is prime time. Fox College Football is sponsored by Wendy's. Kick it with Fox Big Noon. Head to your nearest Wendy's for a custom Kick it with Fox Big Noon. Drink cup. Scan to enter to win CFB prizes each week. You know, Joel, we don't even have a couple of those. We need a couple of those kicking with Fox Big News. You want one? Yes, I do. I want more than one. I want a few. <laughs> Second down and three. At the 14, here's the run with Irvin. And he'll pick up a first down. Deep in Minnesota territory, a gain of six. Now it becomes a game of execution and detail. You know, Nebraska has been in this situation. I don't have to remind Cornhusker fans. And by the way, Minnesota lives in these one possession games as well. Neither of these teams you know, are all that concerned about being in a one possession game. The problem for Matt Rule is that I know he wasn't on the sidelines for these games, but in the last two years, Nebraska's lost 17 games. They're 2-13 and 13 in one possession games. First down and goal. Sims looking. Sims drops it off. Caught inside the five. Nice catch. And this time, it's Bro Richter. 
Borkercher is a terrific tight end, and you can see he flashes the hands. That was one hand. What a catch. Officials timeout for defensive injury. That's, I think that's Darius Green down there, number 12, one of the safeties for Minnesota. Let's go downstairs to Jetty. Well, first of all, what a touchdown on that trick play, but it feels like your offense is finding that rhythm. What are you liking from Jeff Sims in the group? Well, I think early on, you know, we only had three possessions in the first half. We're converting some third downs. We're finding some good runs. You know, that, that, that touchdown we do, that pass is called uh, Osborne for Coach Osborne, so it worked. It didn't work the way it was supposed to, but, you know, we got to find a way to get points down here and just keep protecting the football. Defensively, Omar Brown makes a huge play. What are you liking from that group? Well, you know, we lost Ty Robinson. We've given up some big plays, but we finally got a turnover. We gave up two in the first half. I told you that, uh, that, that how that half ended wouldn't affect us. we got to just go win the game in the fourth. Thank you, Coach. Second down and goal from the four-yard line. Sims and a whistle. Looks like a false start coming up against Nebraska. I think that was Borkercher. False start. Offense number 87. Five-yard penalty, second down. Nate Bokercher. He made the 100 catch a few moments back. Top of your screen, 87. Right before the snap, there's that little flinch, and it's too bad because Grant had a wide-open lane over there on the left. And now that'll back him up. Second down and goal from the nine now. Sims. Sprints out, looking, delivers in the end zone, incomplete. That ball intended for Garcia Castaneda. You talk about a huge play here, third down. Both of these teams, if you're Nebraska, you can't force the ball. We saw that at the end of the first half. Sims forced it, he turned it over, they got no points out of it. Minnesota got to get a stop and force Nebraska to kick a field goal here. 12th play of the drive coming up. That started at the Nebraska 11, third down goal at the nine. And a timeout called by the Cornhuskers. Timeout, Nebraska. It's their first of the half. Will be a four We love our house. It's on a great block, tree lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. Ugh, bit of an eyesore. I'll say. Dry shave. Interesting technique. That's going to come back to haunt him. Some people clean while they cook, not these folks. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. If only they'd bundled the leaves. You know, I wouldn't have pegged these two as yogis. I still don't. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Officially, it's a fridge full of beer. Unofficially, it's free AC. Coors Light, the official beer of everything unofficial. It ain't my dad's razor, dad. Hey, watch it. It's from Gillette Labs. This green bar releases trapped hairs from my face. Game changer. While the flex, this contours to it. So the five blades can get virtually every hair in one stroke for the ultimate Gillette shaving experience. The best a man can get is Gillette Labs. Young lady who was you know, mid-30s, couple of kids, recently went through a divorce. She had a lot of questions when she came in. I watched my mother go through being a single mom. At the end of the day, my mom raised three children, including myself. And so once a client knew that she was heard, we were able to help her move forward. Your client won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Ooh, there's only two chairs left. You better hurry. The power to get there in no time, that's what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine. Not today, brother. Go, 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 go. You got this. Mom? You snooze, you lose. C'est la vie, as I always say. Dad, you've never said that before. Never. The 
BMW Electric Summer On Sales Event is on now. Lease the 2023 BMW i3 Drive 35 for 4 dollars per month now through September 4th. Saturday is Baseball Night in America on Fox. Harper and the Phillies take on Yelich and the Brewers. Or Correa and the Twins battle Seager and the Rangers. It's Baseball Night in America, Saturday on Fox. Pacific Life Game Summary, sponsored by Pacific Life. Creating financial security for more than 150 years. This was that trick play. Coach says they called it Osborne. Didn't look great, but guess what? Ended up great. Pull it for the touchdown. And then how about Omar Brown? Huge interception in the last series. And Nebraska has methodically walked the ball down the field with their offense. And now Jeff Sims has a third down for his coach, Matt Rule. Here inside the 10, Gus, he's got to be careful with the ball. You cannot turn it over. Got to at least get three points out of this series. Third down and goal of the nine. Gabe Irvin in the backfield. Nebraska, no gain on the play. Baranowski. Defensively for the Gophers. You know, I don't mind the play call because you just take the, the, the whole element of the quarterback trying to force the ball out of the equation. And now Nebraska will send out their true freshman kicker for three. Tristan Alvano in to attempt his first field goal of the day. This went from 27 yards out. And it's good. 10-3 Nebraska. 12-42 to play in the fourth. Horn Huskers up by seven on the road. So I didn't think I needed Swiffer until I saw how easily it picked up my hair every time I dried it. It only takes a minute. <laughs> Look at that. The heavy duty cloths are extra thick for amazing trap and lock, even for his hair. Wow. And for dust, I love my heavy duty duster. The fluffy fibers trap dust on contact up high and all around without having to lift a thing. <laughs> I'm so hooked. You'll love Swiffer or your money back. 12.42 to play in the fourth quarter, 10 to three. Nebraska on top of Minnesota, a lot on that young man's mind, Joel. Well, he just hasn't played well after the first couple of series and the offense hasn't played well. I don't think it's all his fault, although that last pass intercepted by Omar Brown Gus, that was not a good throw. The problem is, is that they, they, they aren't running the ball at all, at least not effectively. And so everything in the run game for Minnesota is just kind of a token. They're not built to just throw it. This is what they, they want to run the ball. They want to run it 55, 60% of the time. They have for the better part of the last three, four years, really ever since P.J. Fleck got here. And Gus, th this is foreign territory for them and it's foreign territory for a young quarterback to go out there and he doesn't have the benefit of the all-time leading rusher in Minnesota history standing next to him and Mo Ibrahim there's no Mo Ibrahim anymore there's no John Michael Schmitz up front all the alls are gone the all-american up front the all-time winning his quarterback he's gone the all-time leading rusher he's gone and now these young players have got to figure it out without those leaders from a year ago Down by only seven. First down and 10 of the 19. Kelly McMahon, a short drop. Sideline, incomplete. Intended for Crooms. Omar Brown defensively. Brown does have that interception in this game. You look at what they did from a play selection standpoint. Tonight, they're 26 passes, 18 rushes. Last year, they were 65, almost 66% run. So, Ethan Kaliak Manis is in a totally different position than the quarterback's previous year's Tanner Morgan. Kaliak Manis and that ball incomplete. Juggled and dropped by Daniel Jackson. They're also without one of their better and most experienced players on the outside, Chris Ottman Bell, number seven. He wasn't available, a game time decision. And now another third and long. The offensive line has done a good job protecting Ethan in the backfield, but he's got to find a completion here. And this secondary is gaining more and more confidence with every stop. Third down and 10 of the 19 yard line.
Kelly McManus. And incomplete. He was under pressure. Looks like he may have hurt his hand. Bullock. Defensively. Bullock five gets a great rush right here. He's going against the back. He goes right up into the hand. You're absolutely right, Gus. That hand hit Bullock. And it kind of flutters on him. Oh, it hits him right in the face mask. Kaliak Manis hit that right hand right on the face mask, and you can see he's flexing it as he's going off the field. He's three of his last ten. And Nebraska ready to receive the football. Billy Kemp, the deep man, has it at the 33. And goes out of bounds at the 37, maybe the 38. 48-yard punt. Three-yard return coming up. The Cornhuskers with the ball and the lead after this. You don't have to wait until retirement to start enjoying your plans. With Pacific Life, imagine your future with confidence. For more than 150 years, we've kept our promise to financially protect and provide so you can look forward to exploring your family's heritage with the ones you love. Talk to a financial professional about life insurance and retirement solutions with Pacific Life. This is the hotel breakfast. It looked different online. Do you children like eggs? Here, they make your bones grow. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. Hi guys, look alive. Is it fine? Daryl. I'm starving. When free hot breakfast can make or break your day, it matters where you stay. Go get them. Hampton by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. California. Now let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness. Say what you say, but give me that ball beat from Dre. Let me serenade the streets of LA. From Oakland to Sacktown, the Bay Area. We never just see the numbers, we see the people. When I first started the company, I was really excited to empower people of all abilities. You've made something that people find invaluable. It fuels you to keep making a better impact with your business. I don't have to think about the pathway to the ocean. I just know that I'm gonna be able to surf again. That's why we're here, to help make it happen. J.P. Morgan Chase on a spicy fansville. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, where I lock myself in a room and I yell about sports. Hot take, punting is for losers. Hot take, hot take, hot take. Let's go back to leather helmets. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade money every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Fox College Football is sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Local artist Kickley is somewhat of a phenomenon here in Minnesota. He attends many local sporting events from football to golf, capturing moments with his talented paintbrush as he had a chance to paint. Our studio guys. He's supposed to come up and paint us, George. Well, he got enamored with with what are we, Chop Liver? Brady yeah. and Mark and and Matt and how handsome they were. Not that Urban's not handsome and Rob Rear handsome as well, but those <laughs> those three guys are like in a different stratosphere. Uh, that is true. That definitely is true. First down and ten for Nebraska. Play fair. Sim sets up. Goes deep, looking. He has a receiver incomplete. That ball underthrown. Needed to put some air under it. They had him. They definitely had him. And the opportunity to get the big play down the field. Newbin was in coverage. Minnesota owns six in their last six games when they've allowed 150 rushing yards. That's about right where Nebraska is, 151 so far. 
And big credit to that offensive line. I, th I thought they came in as a bit of a question mark. They're an experienced group, lots of starts under their belt, but hadn't played well prior to tonight. Second down, that ball deflected at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Looks like it's Maverick Baranowski. Boy, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I understand the shot and being aggressive here. Good job by Bernowski to get that hand right there. But a couple of passes to open this series, I just felt like this was an opportunity for Marcus Satterfield to really flex and show what Nebraska wants to be moving forward. Now they're in a third and long. This is not what their forte is. Sims got to be careful with the football here. Third down and ten. Here's Sims, checks it down, underneath has his man, Washington, but he goes nowhere, well defended. Justin Wally trips him up, and that'll force the Cornhuskers to punt it away. But I'm impressed by Justin Wally. All night we've called his name, number five for Minnesota, excellent tackler. He's one of their best corners, really could have gone anywhere in the SEC from Mississippi, and he came up here. He is a leader on this defense. You see that C on his jersey. And he's made several good open field tackles. So here's Redding. He'll let it take a bounce. And it will bounce inside the 20. 11-21 to play in the fourth. Nebraska leading it. 10-3. Here comes Minnesota. The Jersey Mike's Catering Box is the easiest way to feed your friends. The hard part is picking your sub. That's why we're having a draft. With the first pick, Sarah from Carolina selects number 13, the original Italian. You know, I trusted my gut, and uh, that's exactly where the sub's going to go. So Hold on, we've got a trade. Jake traded his second pick with me, because <laughs> I'm starved. Freshly sliced subs to go, wherever you and your friends go. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. I walk along the city streets you used to walk along with me. And every step I take recalls how much in love we used to be. For how can I forget you when there is a heart? Doug. What do we always say, son? Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. They only pay for what you need. That's my boy. And you get out there and you make us proud, huh? Bye, Uncle Emu. Stay off the freeways. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Your new Axe Fine Fragrance Body Wash, sir. It's the Gelt. The new Axe Fine Fragrance Body Wash. Get clean with the greatest of all time. Have fun, sis. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Can one man change everything? Turn a forgotten program into the talk of college football. Can a one-win team upset a Big 12 powerhouse? We bring in the heat. We're about to find out. Give me my darn theme music. Big Noon is prime time. Been a great defensive game. Here in Minneapolis, Big Ten opener for these two teams, Nebraska and Minnesota. Nebraska leading on the road, 10-3, Gophers with the football. First down and 10 at their own 17. Kaliak Manis underneath to the 21, maybe the 22-yard line. 
Spanford with the reception. That is a signal to everybody out there. It's the fourth quarter. It's Minnesota. They ran it 65% of the time last year. They're down one score. They get the offense back on the field. They throw it on first down. That's a signal to everybody. Like, hey, we don't feel like we're going to be able to just run the ball anymore. The offensive line has not won up front. This game is going to be on the shoulder of their quarterback. Last three possessions, three and out, a pick, and a three and out for the Gophers. Second and five. Near side. Ball caught. Bryce Williams. He'll get out of bounds. It looks like he has a first down. A nice job by Nathan Kaliak Manis right there. They're trying to run short, quick game, right? Trying to get the ball out of his hands. He's got all five guys, all five releases out. It's called scat protection. Well, when that happens, you've got to find your win right away. And he went across the board, paying one, two, three, found his back on a check down for a first down. That was really nicely done. First down at the 28. Kaliak Mattis steps up in the pocket in trouble, and he's sacked. Great pressure this time. It's Gunnerson, the sophomore from Carroll, Iowa. Plays Gunnerson. Gunnerson's trying to get upfield, and then he goes back under the tackle, Quinn Carroll, and he's able to get to the quarterback. I'll tell you what, that's just an effort sack right there, and good coverage from that secondary. I tell you, the secondary for Nebraska has been outstanding for Tony White, the defensive coordinator, in his first year here at Nebraska. That was the first Nebraska sack of the evening. Second down and 11. Kelly Ekmanis sidearms it underneath. Caught. Daniel Jackson. And he's stopped by Quentin Newsom. Another chance here. A third down. You can say this is all just short passing game. This is all on the quarterback. These front seven players for Nebraska, if they can't get there, they've got to get their hands up, try to disrupt the pack, quick passing game. And if I'm a corner or a safety, this is the time to sit on a route. You know they're just going for the chains. Try to take a chance here. Try to sit, in particular if you've got one safety over the top. Third down and five. Kelly Ekman is changing the play. Kelly Ekman is runs it himself, looking for the first, and he has it. Well done. With Newsom with the tackle after a gain of six on third and five. I tell you, they did a great job of expecting this dropout from the safety, and then there's only three players on that side of the defense on the front, and so they can just get a quick read, and all you got to do is beat the corner, and he was able to do it for a first down. Nice read, nice run. First down and ten from the 39. Kelly Manis winds up, takes a deep shot, and incomplete. No flag on the play. Daniel Jackson, the intended target. Omar Brown riding Jackson down the field. Almost thought you were going to say riding shotgun because that's what he was. Look at him. He's just right on his hip. That's beautiful coverage. Omar Brown transfers in from northern Iowa. And they like their depth at safety, and I can see why. I tell you, these guys have covered really well. They've taken to this new defensive philosophy and scheme very quickly, have not been a breakdown in coverage yet. They've done a great job on this defense, in particular in the back end at safety. Second down and 10. Kelly McManus going through his progressions. In trouble. Buys time. Spins. Looking. Kelly McManus just delivers. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Third down, now that brings up third and ten. Well, now we've seen the pass rush start to get there. You see Ethan Kaliak Manis. He's a little winded, right? He runs around. P.J. Fleck can feel it. They are not themselves right now. And Nebraska has started to find a little bit of pass rush. You watch out for these guys now. They're a little fresh. There's Tony White. What's he going to dial up? Trying to get someone in the face of the quarterback. Third down and ten. At the 39, big play here for both teams. In trouble and a sack. He dialed up pressure. Hutmaker gets to the quarterback. And Minnesota has to punt it away. Well, I'll tell you, what a move. This guy is 330 pounds, Gus. No one lays a hand on him. 
right next to the center. He just goes right upfield. He's in the face of the quarterback, and Hutmaker gets in there with a sack, and they have been able to get to the quarterback all second half. This guy won four straight state wrestling titles. You can see why. Nimble man, 166 and 0. His high school career is a wrestler. Kemp, the deep man. Signals with a fair catch, and he has it at the 33. They're fired up on that Nebraska sideline. New era began tonight. Matt Rule and this Nebraska team, 7-17 away from their first win of the year. A car like this shouldn't exist. Something this big, this luxurious, shouldn't move like a Mazda. And yet, it does. <laughs> oh my God, it sounds epic as well. This car is an SUV with bragging rights. The all new three row Mazda CX-90. Hercule Poirot, come with me to a seance. Detective, you are here to discredit me, but I can talk to the dead. Mom, what is happening? Somebody has been murdered. A ghost killed her. One of you is the killer. No one shall leave until I find her. If the living have been killed by the dead. You were saying? A haunting in Venice. Rated PG-13. Only in theaters. September 15th. Please don't go. Panera's You Pick 2 means when part of you wants crispy, crunchy, fresh, and part of you wants melty, smoky, peppery. Both yous win big. You pick two and get more. Only at Panera. $1 delivery fee on our app. Frustrated by skin tags? Dr. Scholl's has the breakthrough you've been waiting for. The first FDA-cleared at-home skin tag remover, clinically proven to remove skin tags safely in as little as one treatment. Baby, it's over. I mean, we both saw this coming. What a difference a day makes. It was me. You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. Fox College Football is sponsored by Discover. Over the next week and a half, folks, Fox is bringing prime time to big news. Deion Sanders, the American sports icon, in his first game as Colorado's head coach, heads to Fort Worth to take on the defending CFP runner-ups, TCU. Then we head to Boulder, where Nebraska and new head coach Matt Rule come to town. If you want to catch Coach Prime, we've got you covered on Big Noon Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern on Fox. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers would love nothing more than to head into Boulder with a win under their belts to take on Dion and his Colorado Buffaloes, who, by the way, they've got some good players down there. I talked to Urban Meyer. He said he went to watch Dion practice, and he was really impressed. I... I can tell you that at the skill positions, they're probably as good as anybody out there. Nebraska will have their hands full. TCU will have their hands full, certainly. Can't wait for that game. They got to take care of business here, though. And I know they, they know that. You know, they, their issue has been one score losses over the last five seasons. On right, second down and three. Gus, they've lost 25 games, as you just saw, in the last five years in one score games. 
This is their chance. Matt Rule knows that. Under six and a half minutes now. Any score, the way that Minnesota's been playing on offense, any score that makes this a two-possession game, Nebraska is going to win the football game. But you also got to play against the clock, which they've done a nice job of here with a huddle, milking it out. But this is a huge third down right here. Sims on a, some sort of a keeper. If he wants to scramble, find one guy. If it's not there, take off because his feet are the weapon. Make that third down at four now at the 38. Here's Sims, delivers, and a first down. Ramir Johnson found a soft spot on third and four. He gained six. Boy, they really love Ramir Johnson, and he's the type of guy that can line up in the backfield or in the slot, and he's a very good receiver, and you can tell Jeff Sims was staring at him the whole time. And that ball came out right on time so that as soon as Ramir Johnson turned around, the ball was there. And now they get a new set of downs, and they can slow it back down again. 15 on the play clock, now 14. And they'll just continue to milk this clock and try to run the ball. They better hurry up now, though. Only 8, 7, 6, 6 to snap it. They're probably going to have to take a timeout. And they will not get it off in time. Timeout. Timeout called by Matt Roy. It's their second of the half. Will be 30 seconds in length. And we'll step away for 15 seconds. Back after this. This is the new way you to let it be started. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway. Like the Subway series menu. Buy one foot long in the app. Get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. 5.03 to go in the fourth quarter. Nebraska has lost its Big Ten opener three straight years. Ohio State, Illinois, Northwestern last season. First down at their own 44. They want to milk the clock. Staying on the ground, a fumble. Get Minnesota. with the football what a turn of events Aiden Goosby number seven winds up with the ball and that one is knocked out by Justin Wally Anthony Grant was in the game and Anthony Grant he was having a great camp and he fumbled in preseason camp and went in the doghouse a little bit and was just starting to get back out. And now in a big moment, he puts the ball on the ground and Minnesota is able to put their offense back on the field. That's exactly what they needed. That go for defense comes up huge. And the Nebraska faithful are saying not again. First down at the 47 for Minnesota. And they'll run it. This time it's Darius Taylor. Omar Brown with the tackle, three-yard pickup. They went strictly passing game on the last series. Here they open up trying to get some of that run game. They need the run action in order to help their passing game. They're going to have to try to get somebody loose, either going sideways horizontally like a tight end or one of those slot receivers and or get the safeties down with the run action and try to get a big play over the top. Minnesota with all three of their timeouts. Second down and seven. Play action. Cali McManus sets up deep. Looking with time. Cali McManus finally fires. And incomplete. What great defense, Deshaun Singleton on Jackson. Well, you're hearing the booze. They thought that Singleton possibly arrived a little bit early here's jackson right now and absolutely there's no doubt there should have been a flag out he climbed right up the back of jackson who didn't have a fair shot to get up and go after that ball that's pass interference that's a completely missed call at the most inopportune time and kaliak manis took a huge hit third down and seven at midfield kaliak manis looking for that first down he drops it off to his receiver I don't know if he gets there. Jackson again, and he's short. 
So that brings up fourth down and a yard. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna have to go for this. And you look at him trying to reach out. There's the contact. And watch as he tries to reach this football out before he goes out of bounds. Oh, absolutely. That spot's probably bad by about a yard when you really look at it. It's right. tough to tell where he actually crossed the sideline. First of the half, 30 seconds in length. So Minnesota uses one of their three timeouts. You know, from that angle, it's a tough one because we don't know exactly when he crossed the sideline. If he reached when he's still in the field of play, then you can potentially move it, but you can see he's crossing before the reach. So now that ball is out, then he reaches over. So that's probably a good spot based on that last replay. Official was right on top of it right there. P.J. Fleck looking for a first down, not going to get it. And now it's fourth down, Gus. Fourth down. Gophers need a yard. 3.59 to go. Down by seven at home. Cali Manis in the gun. They run it looking for the first. I don't know. Flag on the play. Looks like a face mask. Coming up against Nebraska. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 11. 15 yard penalty will be added to in the run, automatic first down. Please reset the game clock to 353. 353. Cameron Linhart. Yeah, and Linhart's got to be thinking to himself, like, I was being held. But he reached out and definitely grabbed the face mask, no doubt about it. And Minnesota is in business now inside the 30. And this is when Kaliak Manis has got to just. Gus, I, I know it hasn't been perfect for him, right? But as a young quarterback, there are moments when you got to take a deep breath and forget about everything that's happened so far tonight. Good throws, bad throws, it doesn't matter. You got to read the defense in front of you, and you got to step in there and make the best throws that you can possibly make. Get your feet underneath you. That's all he's got to be thinking right now, because it's going to come down to a throw at some point. They're not going to be able to just run the ball into the end zone like they've done in previous years. He's going to have to make a play with that right arm. First down and 10. Three minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the fourth. There is no coach's choice. The game clock will start on my ready for play. First and 10 at the 28. Kelly McManus, sideline incomplete. Intended to Sean Tyler out of the backfield. Just behind him here, Minnesota now fourth trip so far tonight inside the Nebraska 40. They've only got three points to show for it. They have been here before. They have not found any success once they've gotten inside of this position here, kind of the scoring territory. This is when Nebraska's defense has been at their best. Second down and 10. Nebraska showing blitz. Kelly McManus over the middle, and he has his man, Spanford. He continues to move and will finally plop down at around the 13. A 15-yard gain. That was a beautiful little play, kind of a tight end delay, almost a middle screen to the tight end, very talented player, probably their best player as I've said, and they were trying to find a way to get him the ball here in this huge moment. They have not had success inside the 30. What do you do? Design something specific for your best player, and they get it to him on that tight end delay. First down and 10 at the Nebraska 13. Kelly McManus having one of his best drives of the night. He wants to throw it again. Lofts it in the end zone. Incomplete. Daniel Jackson had a step. 
He had him. This ball was just thrown too far. Look at Jackson. He's just trying. And was his toe down when he secured it? I don't think it was. Clearly came out down out of bounds. They had it lined up. Boy, what a good play call. And P.J. Fleck knows that that was just out of his reach. Second and ten. The rolling on the field of an incomplete pass is under further review. Boy, this one's going to be close, Gus. They're going to check to see if his toe was on the ground when he got control of the football. The key is control. When can you establish control? I just, there's nothing in that shot that would show me that you can prove he had full control while the toe was down. They have already set a good precedent tonight. It looked like it came out when he hit the ground as well. Yeah, he would have had to keep possession through the process of going to the ground. Remember, he's got to control the ball first before you can look at a toe. There's control, and the, the feet are up. Then he would still have to control through the process. I don't know if he did that. I really don't. Based on the fact they did not overturn prior right before half, remember when Gabe Urban was reaching for the goal line? I would be shocked if they overturned this and created a touchdown out of that replay. Well, we've got the benefit of super slow-mo. How about real speed? I mean, there's just no, there's no way you can make that call. And After review, the ruling on the field of the incomplete pass stands is called second down. Second down and ten. You know, when you got a short field like this and you're in Nebraska, I know they've been in man coverage a lot so far. But this is a this is a great time to send the house, right? This is when you speed some you speed the quarterback's whole rhythm up by sending a free rusher in his face. Ball at the 13. Kelly McManus comes it underneath. Incomplete. That'll bring up third down. Spanford. The target. Well, they tried to just sit in coverage there, and they got lucky. Nebraska did because that was going to be an easy completion. The span four just dropped. It's clear they, they're, they're trying to target him and or get those other wide receivers on crossing routes, kind of crisscross that man coverage up that we've seen from Nebraska during the course of the second half. Third down and 10 at the 13. Gophers can still get a first down. Kelly McManus over the middle, incomplete. Broken up at the last moment. Nicely done. Isaac Gifford deflected that football, and that brings up fourth and ten. Boy, that ball looked like it was right in his hands, Gifford's hands. But now, game comes down to one snap. At this point, it's always about players and not plays. Time out, Minnesota. The second of the half will be 30 seconds in length. Big fourth down coming up. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the Subway series menu. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. Ten to three, the score. Two minutes and thirty-eight seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Minnesota faced with a fourth down and ten at the Nebraska thirteen-yard line. PJ Fleck, what does he have in store? If you're in Nebraska, this is where you go back to zone coverage, right? Because any completion, fine, you can rally up and make the play. You go back to zone coverage, you don't want a free man running in the end zone. Fourth and ten. 
Kelly Ekmanis looking in zone. Touchdown, Gophers. Daniel Jackson, he got a foot in bounds this time. I mean, he ran a great route, but we'll see if he gets control right there. Is that foot down? Yes, oh, he it is. It. What a catch from Daniel Jackson, and the route was phenomenal. He beat Malcolm Hartzog. There's control. There's the left toe dragging behind for a touchdown. That is unbelievable, Joel. The body control, the wherewithal. He kept that foot in the air so he could drag the trailing foot down for the score i mean that's as good as they come they have been talking to us about daniel jackson all preseason talking to this coaching staff they said daniel jackson i tell you he just flashes every day well he's flashed here tonight almost made that sensational catch at the back end line they go back to him and gus i'm telling you the route he ran was special he gets himself free and then how about the control toe touchdown Barishnikov-esque for Daniel Jackson. Look at that right foot. He kept it high in the air, which gave him time to drag the trailing foot. After review, the winning run of field of a touchdown is confirmed. So they confirm the touchdown for Jackson. 2.32 to go in the fourth quarter. 10-9. Oh, what a game. What a game. Kessich looking to equalize. And we're level at 10. But there is a flag. Running into the kicker, that penalty is declined. The extra point is good. 10-10. Here's the running into the kicker. I tell you, Gus, that ball just squeaked inside. So they're lucky that they had this in their back pocket if they needed it. But let's go back to the route. Now it is zone coverage. So Hartzog number 13, all he's got to do is don't get beat outside. You can't get beat outside. Watch this move inside by Jackson. Watch this. And then he gets his head back around and he wins outside. Hartzog's all of his help. He's got safeties in there. It's zone. All of his help is to the inside. And he gets beat out there by an unbelievable route. The eyes from, from Jackson. Gus, did you see him when he broke back inside and he turned his chest and his eyes back to his quarterback? And that's what made the corner bite down and then he won the free space and made a sensational catch. That's special stuff right there from Daniel Jackson. Jackson pays it off. A tip play drive set up by the Nebraska fumble. And how about the young quarterback making some throws late? Hasn't been perfect, but he's made some throws late, and that certainly was a beautiful throw to Jackson for the touchdown. Now Jeff Sims will get an opportunity as this ball goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, they were in this scenario in the first half and drove right down the field in a two-minute situation and had a chance to score. This one, all they need is three. They've got a true freshman kicker. He's made a field goal tonight, Gus. His name is Trist Tristan Alvano. Tristan Alvano, number 30, got his scholarship because he went five for five in a Nebraska State Championship game, including start the play clock. a walk-off winner. The next day, he was offered a scholarship at the University of Nebraska. 
And he is sitting on the bench hoping for a chance here. Here's Sims to run it. Both teams with a timeout left. John Joyner with the tackle. Generally what happens in these two-minute situations is that the middle of the field becomes very soft. Those linebackers get a lot of depth. The things that are open and free are the quarterback scramble and the check down to the back. They've got plenty of time to use both. Sims looking in trouble, turns a corner, and gets out of bounds as he crosses the 45. Tyler Bride giving chase. First down. Where do they need to go to get in field goal range? I mean, it's his, it's his first college game. I think Tristan Alvano would probably be good from around 45. If you're talking about adrenaline, maybe he can push it to 47, 48. First down, Sims over the middle. And that ball is caught. Marcus Washington. What a throw. Clock stops. Because that one was terribly. Well, how good was that throw? Right on the money. They're at midfield now. Officials come out for defensive injury. I know, I know the Nebraska fans here are booing, but one of the last players you would want to cramp up is Justin Wally, who is their best corner on the outside. Let's go back to that last throw. Watch as Sims is going to throw over here to this slant route on the right side. This is Washington, Marcus Washington. That is beautiful. Right out in front, Washington grabs it with his hands. Sims has gotten better and better as the game has gone on. And this is what I love about what Sims has done is that he has forgotten about some of those mistakes from the first half. Remember, Gus, he had those interceptions, one of them right before the end of the half. And he has bounced back like you would expect an experienced player to bounce back and made some great throws and made some great plays with his legs here in the second, trying to give himself and his team a chance to win here. What a game. Oh, isn't that the truth? Opener. Conference opener, folks, as well. Right. Nebraska was in control in the second half. Minnesota forced the fumble. Minnesota goes down the field. They get the touchdown on the beautiful toe tap from Daniel Jackson. And now Nebraska turning around and trying to go back down the field and put themselves in position to win. They would need to get the ball gust to about the 28-yard line, 29-yard line to feel good about it. First down in midfield. And the handoff. Irvin, a four-yard gain. Need to go quickly here now. Now the, the clock is getting to that point with only one timeout where you don't want too much of this to go away. Second down at six. 109 to go. Sims, remember, he's a prolific runner. Sims over the middle. Intercepted. Whoa! Tyler Newman again. His second pick in this game. This is what great safeties do, is they read the eyes of the quarterback, and that's exactly what Tyler Newbin does on this play. Watch Sims as he just stares down his wide receiver, and then the eyes of the safety are all over that wide receiver. And he just breaks on the ball, and boom, second interception of the night for one of the best safeties in America. And Nebraska fans can't believe it. So Minnesota now with the football close to midfield. First down at the 49. One timeout left. Kelly McManus to Spanford. He gets out of bounds. Close to the 40. Now where do the Gophers need to go to get in field goal range. Well, Kesich has a big leg, and so Kesich was hitting in pregame going this direction from about 54, so they would only need a few more yards here before they would be comfortable at least attempting a field goal. Remember, Kesich barely missed a 54-yarder in this game. He pushed it wide left. 
Second and one. Kelly McManus, first down, out of bounds. Guess who? Daniel Jackson. 50 seconds to go. There's Kessage. He missed that 54-yarder just a little bit left, Gus. You would like to get him a little closer. He is a left footer. First down and 10 at the 37. Kelly McManus drops it off. Another completion out of bounds at the 30. This time it's Bryce Williams. Man, they have just been wearing out that short side. It's called boundary, right? They're just wearing out the back into the boundary on a little completion. They're bringing the wide receiver and a tight end, and they're just bringing them inside to grab the eyes of the secondary, and then they just roll out that back, and you can tell Matt Rule is frustrated. He's looking for the substitution because Minnesota substituted, and so they're going to try to walk guys all the way across the field. Second down and five. They're getting close to Kessich's range. Kelly McManus wants to run it, bottled up, and take it down for a loss. Luke Reimer with the tackle. One of the only things you can't do here is take a sack. They're right, they're right on the range right now. It's about a 52-yarder from here, Gus. And some movement on the left side of the offensive line for Minnesota. That is a killer. That is an absolute killer. This would have a 10-second runoff, so they would have to take False their last start. time out. Offense, number 69. By rule, this is a 10-second subtraction. Please set the game clock to 17 seconds. The clock will start on my ready. Oh, my gosh. They've got to get five more yards here to feel good about this, this attempt. Are they going back to the boundary? Back is into the boundary. Let's see if they go there again. And they'll hand it off, running room. Sean Tyler, huge run. Six seconds to go. Dragon Kessich. That's what this will be a 46 yard. Minnesota, that's the third and final charge. Will be 30 seconds in length. Please reset the game clock to three seconds. Zero, three. Dragon Ketchich, the seventh ranked kicker in the nation, coming out of Oak Creek High School in Wisconsin. He was a kickoff specialist last year, taking over the place kicking duties from Matthew Trickett. As you mentioned, left footed, big leg. He barely missed a 54 yarder in this game. This one will be from 46 yards away with three seconds to go. As Matt Rule looks on. Nebraska with a timeout. Kasich lines it up. Timeout, Nebraska. And That's Nebraska and final charge. will use Maybe their final timeout. And you go back to that whole sequence. I thought P.J. Fleck managed that really well. You think about it, they get the false start, and he has a decision to make. You know, you could panic right there and say, no, I, I need to burn my timeout to save the 27 seconds, right? He knows he needs to pick up about five yards. And he says, no. I'll be all right. I need the timeout so that I can kill the clock because I want to run the ball. I feel like they're soft in the middle. So he tells his offensive coordinators, hey, let's run the ball up the middle. I've got the timeout ready to go. And then he did a really smart thing. He wait for the game clock to go inside of five seconds, calls the timeout. This will be the last play of the game. Officially, this is a 47-yard attempt. 
for Kasich. Clean snap, good hole, got it up, and it's good! And Minnesota comes back to win it! 13 to 10! What a game. What a way to start the college football season on Fox and FS1. And downstairs, our Jenny Tav has Coach Fleck. Well, Coach, I don't know if it gets much better than these kind of moments to start a football season. How would you describe the way your team fought through plenty of adversity to win it in that way from Dragon? In January, we said this team would have to be poised. That's boys. There was a lot of things that did not go our way offensively, but the credit to Matt Rule and his defense created a ton of problems for us all day. Our defense kept us in the game. Every time we got back in the game, the special teams led them back in the game. What a football game. 2023 college football. The toe drag from Jackson. I mean, have you seen a prettier catch than a moment like that? That was beautiful. The problem was we could have had two more easy ones before that if we just put it on the money. He's resilient. The kids got in a huddle, said it's all about us. Elite teams, players make plays, and um, they did. You told me you don't believe in momentum, so I won't ask you about that, but yeah. carrying this feeling throughout the season, how do you make sure that the Gophers do that? We're one and know. We wanted to be one and know in the Nebraska season. It sounds like coach speak, but it's not. Uh, this is one game with a very challenging schedule ahead. Uh, we'll enjoy this tonight. Get ready for Eastern Michigan next week. Thank you, enjoy. Both Sky and Mago Gophers. <laughs> All right, Jenny, thank you very much. And elated, Coach Flack, let's take a look at the winning field goal. I tell you, man, good snap, good hold, and a beautiful kick. I mean, it, it was good for much longer than 47. And four turnovers end up costing Nebraska. And how about, I never thought I'd see the day. I thought we'd still see a run game from Minnesota. They put it up 40 times, as Kessick says, go for strong. And again, Nebraska in the one-score games, finding ways to lose and cost themselves. And Fleck, got to be thrilled. Defense finds a way. Defense found a way with turnovers late. And how about, Gus, Tyler Newbin? He's their best player. Two picks. Pro. He's a pro. That dude is a pro. There's no doubt about it. So what a comeback victory for this Minnesota Golden Gophers team forcing turnovers when they needed them the most well and gus our good hands playmaker sponsored by allstate you're in good hands is none other than daniel jackson <laughs> because he was sensational and that catch you're gonna be seeing it for a long time because that was one of the best catches in a big moment that you're gonna see nine for 68 none bigger than that touchdown grab that tied it up for Minnesota. They would go on to win. What a game. So the final score here in Minneapolis. Minnesota 13, Nebraska 10. What a finish. For Joel Klatt and Jenny Daff, I'm Gus Johnson. We will have more here in Minneapolis with Rob Stone and the guys after this break. More shopping? You should watch your spending, honey. I'm saving with Liberty Mutual, Mom. They customize your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Check it out. You could save $700 just by switching. Ooh, I'll look into that. Let me put a reminder on my phone. Save $700. Pick up Dad from airport. Oh, only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Floor and Decor, my go-to to get it all. Tile, wood, stone, and laminate, they've got it. Installation materials, yep, and all the tools I need, they've got those too. More importantly, they've got my back with benefits and services I actually want and a pro app that makes my job easier. Floor and Decor just gets it. That means I get more done. 
At Floor & Decor, whether you're looking for everyday low pricing on in-stock job lock quantities and installation materials, or a powerful partner to help take your business to the next level, we've got you covered. Discover Floor & Decor today. Get all your breakfast faves like hash browns for just a few bucks, only on the McDonald's one two three dollar menu. We're reinventing our network with smarter, more efficient routes, so you can deliver more value to your customers. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. A new primetime lineup on Fox News Channel. The right voices at the right time. Weeknights on Fox News. America is watching. Who's reached peak fall? The DQ Fall Blizzard menu? Snickerdoodle cookie dough pumpkin pie? They're back! Plaid. Cardigan. Ooh, all that and fuzzy boots. They did it. Too much fall? Nah, peak fall achieved. DQ, happy tastes good. No matter where you're headed, with the right view, the right co-captains, and stunning American design and craftsmanship, you might not care if you ever get back. Wow, you guys did great with this place. Yeah. And it was easy to buy with all the help we got from Navy Federal Credit Union. I can't imagine where we'd be without them. Great. So what's shaking? Nothing. Nothing's shaking. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. If you have moderate to severe Crohn's disease, SkyRizzy is the first and only IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver clinical remission and endoscopic improvement. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Control of Crohn's means everything to me. Ask your gastroenterologist about SkyRizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Senior Dragon Kesic had never made a field goal until tonight with three seconds left. He drains the walk-off shot from 47 yards out. Minnesota takes it 13-10. Oh, they are celebrating in Minneapolis as we welcome you to the Fox College Football postgame show sponsored by the ultimate electric driving machine. Nobody's leaving the stadium tonight. <laughs> Minnesota getting a come from behind win to go to Let's one go, and oh this season. Yeah, gold out, sell out, ball out. Minnesota getting the win. Rob Stone, Brady Quinn, Mark Ingram making friends. Matt Leinart and the coach Urban Meyer here with you. Nebraska, the story here now two and 14 in one score games over the course of the last three years. And their inability to close out games continues as Minnesota, Matt, forced numerous timely turnovers. And that was the difference of the game, and a shout out really to both defenses, but Minnesota's defense kept them in the game. They had four turnovers, as you said, Rob. Newman, who was the best player on this defense, in these types of games, you want your best players to make plays. And this is what they did all season long, or all game long, excuse me, here earlier in the game. They were stout in the red zone. Again, some bad, bad decisions from Jeff Sims. And the offense wasn't really able to capitalize a lot for Minnesota. But again, at the end of the game, when it mattered most right here, Newman makes the play. They make a couple plays set up for that touchdown, that game, uh, game winning field goal. So credit to that defense. They were outstanding. And uh, really both defense. I mean, we, we see a 13 10 score. Yeah. Right. Really both defenses <laughs> stepped up tonight. But there was also some mistakes as well. We talked about Jeff Sims before. You saw the dual threat ability, you saw yep. him at times being really the only thing Nebraska had on offense. But unfortunately, go back to the first half, the interception in the red zone, taking points off the board. That's gut wrenching. That's a tie ball game going into overtime. If you just get out, get out, you know, get out into half and you come back. That last one, too, he's played way too much football to stare down his target like that and allow Tyler Newbin to take advantage and make that big of a play. So the toughest thing right now is, coach, you played your heart out. You got to go on the road next week. Back-to-back -back weeks on the road. What are you saying to the, the team right now? Well, Nebraska has 64 new players, 44, 44 of them are freshmen. They came on the road against a good Minnesota team and played their hearts out. What's going to happen is the fan base, which is a very proud fan base, everybody's thinking about the what. The what is they've lost 
They're two and 14 in the last three years in one score games. The head coach, he's an excellent coach. Get off the what? Get on the why. You know what the why is? Don't turn the ball over at the end of the game, you win. So go back to ball security in the four minute drill. What's the rule? Get two hands on that ball. Right. Don't stare down the receiver. That's the why. The head coach has got it, and as I can tell you, the fan base is going to be all over it. They're going to be here we go again. But more importantly, the fan base, you got a bunch of players in that locker room. Just got to make sure that head doesn't go down. Get that head back up and focus on the why. The why, ball security. What about the unsung hero of this thing tonight? Daniel Jackson. He was phenomenal. Nine receptions, 68 yards, and a touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown that helped them to put him right in position. A spectacular touchdown reception. Tony toe tapping in the end zone. He's toe tapping out here in the end zone. That put him in position to tie the game wow. and eventually win the game. So shout out to Daniel Jackson. Nine receptions, 68 yards, and an immaculate touchdown reception. Ball, young man, ball. Matt Rule goes to 0-4 in his head coaching debuts with new programs. Minnesota getting the come from behind win. And moments ago, our Jenny Taft caught up with Minnesota safety, Tyler Newbin. Well, Tyler, first of all, it was hard to steal you over here after that celebration. Yeah, sorry, sorry that. No, it's all good. You had quite the game, obviously, those two picks. And then the defense as a whole forcing that fumble under five minutes to play. What can you say about the overall performance from the D? Man, this, this is what we've been working on all year, just being able to respond to tough situations, being resilient, having guys that can just come in and be the next man up. This, this is what we've been working on all year. So you're just seeing the culmination of all the work that we put in this, this offseason, seriously. What can you say about the potential of this group? Because it feels good to start the season in this way. Uh, just seeing how well we can respond uh, to any situation, whatever's thrown at us. We didn't really know what they were going to run today, offense and defense-wise. Uh, so, so just being able to respond and, and, and overcome obstacles, I, I, it's a really good, great start. Hello. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Newbin with four picks last season, two already here as we take a look at the most losses in one score games over the course of the last three seasons. There's Nebraska, the 14. They now have 26 one score losses over the course of their last five plus seasons. We take you now to Salt Lake for our BMW highlights. Florida leaving the swamp and heading to the elevation of 14th ranked Utah. Cam Rising still unavailable, recovering from that torn ACL suffered in last year's Rose Bowl. So Bryson Barnes comes in at QB for the Utes and finds Money Parks from 70 yards. Dropping dimes. Bryson Barnes step up in a big way for Cam Rising is still coming back from injury. Yeah, Barnes 159 through the air. Graham Mertz, the new QB for Florida. That one tipped and picked. Ensuing possession. Barnes, you know what? Goes like Matt Liner. Just run it in, right, Matt? Is that, is that what it is, Matt? I mean, when you, that have that, when you have that much grass in front of you, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Florida, 13 rushing yards, 1 of 13 on third down. Coming up Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern, right here on Fox. Make sure to catch Big Noon kickoff live from Fort Worth, Texas, as number 17 TCU host Colorado in the debut of Coach Prime, who sat down this week with our Aaron Andrews. Well, How you doing? Good, I'm great. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry, I'm, I got shades on. Because I didn't wear these trying to be cool. Yeah? I wore these because these are for you. You know, got the prime brand, everything. Oh, Let me goodness. just see you rocking for a minute. All right, just all right, just all a quick right. second. Listen, you don't want to mess up the contour. Oh, you know my mean? God. And they fit around oh, the feet. Oh, my God. Yeah. We coming. Yeah. Oh. And you can see that full interview Saturday on Big Noon Kickoff. Coach, you ever do an interview in overalls? Let me think. No, <laughs> I have not. Do you even have a pair of overalls? Let me I'm think. not, Coach. No, <laughs> I don't have a cowboy hat either. <laughs> I can't wait to see that interview. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to get cowboy country. We're spending all this time talking about Colorado. Don't be sleeping on TCU, particularly with what they did last season. Week one continues with Michigan State in action tomorrow night on FS1. We'll see you next on Fox Saturday morning with Big Noon Kickoff live from TCU. Fort Worth, here we come, baby. Let's go. Let's play snake oil. Crazy products. The casket that you can build yourself. Can you figure out which are real and which are fake? It is a suitcase with a head on it. <laughs> that at all. David Spade host. Are they real or snake oil? Snake oil. Series premiere Wednesday, September 27th on Fox. I